All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. You know, we are not broadcasting in the regular time just because uh, Abdul, he insists he wants answers. And, you know, for me, customers come first. A Muslim Abdul, he asks, how come the Catholic and the Protestant, they have different numbers of books in the Bible? And uh, for sure, he is saying that because he want to tell you that your book is corrupt. You know, the first thing come to my head is, I mean, how come the Muslim is so interested about the missing books between two, supposedly? By the way, they are not missing. They are there. <laughs> Nothing is missing. But he is not interested in all those books to be missing in his Quran. Just to show you the hypocrisy of this Abdul. This is his text to me. In Facebook. Christian Prince, why you don't read Quran 47? Why the Jews reject Jesus? We will do that. Uh, uh, the Jews reject Jesus. Okay, Surah Maryam in the Quran about who? Okay, where is the Mount of Sila? Where you tell me where? You know, they want to tell me in Mecca. I, I will get you busted. In Isaiah 42, in which sect are you? Catholic, 73 books, or Protestant, 66 books, <laughs> or Orthodox, 80 plus books? Abdul, let me show you how stupid, dumb you are. The same as the rest of all the Muhammadan. Don't open your mouth and talk about something you do not know, you idiot. First of all, you Muslims accuse us that we write books and we create books. But you just prove to us that the Christians are very conservative about what they accept and what they don't accept. If we go and do a little study about what is the 66 and the 73 is about, you will find that there is books which is found later. Some Christian agree. We should add it to the big book, which is the the book of books. So we don't have a book. It's called a book, you idiot. Not like your Quran who says, the people of the book. Which book, you dumb? We don't have a book. We have books. Here we need to ask ourselves, how stupid is the author of the Quran who keep calling us the people of the book? When the Muslims are posting for us saying, we have many books. We are the people of the book. Which book? Who is the stupid mad here? Who is the one is taking too much hashish? If you search the whole Quran, you will not find one place where the Quran says, people of the books. No. It says, people of the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy okay read with me and laugh hmm. Quran is a cartoon but it's it's made by by uh, by a non-professional all right First of all, here, if you read this verse with me here, it says, What does that mean? Allah is warning those who write the book with their hands. Okay, Muhammad, he wrote the book by, by, by which hand? Muhammad never have a book, never deliver a book, never left a book behind him. So where is the book? It is the book which is written by the hand of the Muslims. How many books? We will show you. We, we will show you how the Muslims are so confused about which book to follow. Then we continue. And this is again chapter 2, verse number 79. Now, if we go down, let us make it simple. We will find here the Quran is speaking that we are the people of the book. And when we ask, 
وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ رَسُولًا مِنَا اِنْدِيَ اللّٰهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ Okay, what does that mean? When the messenger came from Allah, agreeing in what they possess from those who've been given the book. But you just showed me that we have 66 and 73. So if we ask a Muslim where we can find the books, our books, you see, if we go and check the list of books in the Bible, we will find all those books never even mentioned in the Quran. Where we can find the book of Genesis, where we can find the book of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, all the books, where we can find the book of Joshua, where can we can find the book of Judges, where we can find the book of Wrath, where we can find the book of Samuel, uh, the first, the second, Kings, where we can find the book of uh, uh, Israel, the book of Nehemiah, the book of Ishtar, where we can find them. They are, they are, there's nothing, there's no mission in the Quran. If you ask the Muslim, is Job? Are you have you ever heard of Job? He will say, Yeah. Okay, have you ever heard of Elijah? They will say, Yes, we did. Elijah, did you hear of Elijah? Yes. Okay, what is the book of Elijah? What is Elijah in your book? What is Isaiah in your book? Can we find Isaiah? Show me, show me the teaching of Isaiah. Show me the book and the, the prophecy of Isaiah. There's nothing. What kind of book? You see, the Quran, the Muslim, they claim this is the book of God, but yet look like the rat ate it. In the best scenario, the goat. If you remember Muhammad in the Hadith, or Aisha mentioned to us, that a goat enter upon the bed of Muhammad and ate the Quran. So do you think that all those books are gone when this this goat ate the Quran? So this is a question you Muslims, if you have any kind of dignity, you should ask yourself, where are those books? Number two, because you're ignorant. There's books written in Hebrew and there's books which is found later some christian they said okay we can add them all in one book we call it the bible some they say no 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 we cannot do that because our those are separated this is the only difference between them otherwise all the christians with no exception catholic protestant orthodox they believe in the original document and the manuscript we have which is the aramaic and the hebrew the books you are talking about is those books which additional which found later and they will not make any different anyway if we add them or we don't let us say if we add them to be inside the cover not adding books because the Bible is not a book it's the book book of books so now if I have a Bible it says okay if I take uh, if I take a book it's called Psalm. okay this is this is Bible for me but it's one book if I take uh, the book of John, this is Bible for me, but this is one book. So either I can put them all in one cover to cover, or I can separate them because this is how they are originally. They are books. They never been all as one book. Unless you want to tell me the book of Moses, because the book of Moses is Moses written by one person in certain time etc so when the Muslims speak about those things and he have all the, the disaster in his religion and he cannot tell us where we can find the book of Job where we can find the book of Psalm where we can find the the the, the uh, 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 you know where we can find the book of Suleiman you see Suleiman Muhammad he taught us about Suleiman that he have a flying carpet he have a he spoke to the ant where is his book I mean who care about the stupid ant and the story of Suleiman flying carpet. Where is the teaching of Suleiman? Where is the book of Suleiman if he's a prophet of Allah according to Muslims? What is the book of David? Can you show me the book of David? You Muslims consider David as a prophet. 
Okay, you consider J Jacob as a prophet. I want to see the book of actually we cannot find in the Quran who is Israel. We keep asking the Muslims if I want to know the Quran saying the word Israel. If if I want to know from this stupid book, the Quran, who is Israel? Can you find me how we can find out? We cannot find out. Why? Because this is not a book. This is a yellow pages. It's like headphones, address, phone number. That's it. There's a guy, his name is Israel. Call this number. You want to know about Israel? Call this number. But the funny in the Quran, there's no numbers to call. So we have to call Allah. <laughs> So when a Muslim he speak about those things, they are really funny and they are really mad. It is Jacob. Okay, guys, a Muslim saying to us, Israel is Jacob. You could find me that in the Quran. If you find me the answer from the Quran that Israel is Mr. Jacob, uh, you are my hero. Can you do that? Guys, do you see what Mr. Muhammad he said? Jacob is Abdul is is is, uh, is Israel. Where you get from? Can you tell me? I'm waiting. I'm not running from the topic, my friend. I'm, 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 I'm debunking you. And now we will see you actually more and more. Just wait, we just started. You asked for it. Can you tell me where we can find who is Jacob in the Quran? Muhammad, the one who told me, it's from the biblical text. So why the Quran for? I thought the Bible is gone. I thought the Bible is not trustworthy. So you as a Muslim, in order to learn who is Jacob, you have to go and find who is Jacob and who is Israel from the Bible. So why you Muslims fool yourself, says the Quran is a perfect book. You just prove to me that the Quran is nothing. If we ask you right now, who is Muhammad? I challenge any Muslim to tell me who is Muhammad from the Quran. All what the Quran says, Muhammad is a prophet. Who is Muhammad? <laughs> who is this guy, Muhammad? Who is Mary? Mary in the Quran, she is a daughter of a guy, his name is Umran, and she is the sister of Aaron, and Aaron himself, he have a father, his name is Umran. <laughs> who is Idris? Who is Saleh? Hmm? Who is Azar? Azar is the father of Abraham since when? So let us make it clear. The Quran is a book written by an ignorant who do not know what he's talking about. The same as the one who asked me the question, are you a Catholic or a Protestant? My friend, there is nothing is called Catholic or Protestant in Christianity. Those are schools of thought. But in Christianity, we have what the Bible says, that all of us, we are united by Jesus. For Jesus, there is nothing is called Christian Orthodox, Christian Catholic, Christian Protestant. There is neither a Jew nor a Greek. What do you know? What the Jew mean? Uh, you do not know. Do you know what the Greek mean? You have no idea. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For all of you, one in Christ Jesus. What does that mean? We can be different. We can be having different opinion. This is very normal. A human being. Can have all kinds of opinion, but all those names you mentioned, the Catholic, the Protestant, the Orthodox, all of them believe that Jesus is their God and He is their Savior and He died in the cross and He resurrected. And they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and they believe in everything written in the four Gospels John, Mark, Luke. So don't pray, play with us here, not like you Muslims. Not like you Muslims who accuse each other that you are going to go to hell and all of you are corrupt. Even your prophet, he said the following. I hope you will not accuse your prophet to be stupid now. Read carefully with me. Here we go. Read with me, Abdul. 
your prophet said. Your prophet said, not me. The Jews were the Jews were split into seventy-one or seventy-two sect, and the Christian they were sp split up into seventy-one or seventy-two sect, and my people were split into seventy-three sect. So you are asking me and making fun if I am a Protestant or a Catholic. You are the most divided people by the witness. His name is Muhammad. Is that correct, guys? Do you see it? The Muslims are the most divided people. You see that Muhammad, he witnessed that the, the Jews, 71, 72 sect, the Christians, 72 sect. Huh? But the nation of Muhammad, my people, they will be 73 sect, and only one of them will go to heaven. Which one? Abdul, are you there? There's no, we don't, we don't have cults. Anyone who believe in Jesus and believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, believe in the resurrection, believe that Jesus is our Savior, our, our Lord. He believe he is the Word who became a flesh, who believe that he's coming back, he is a Christian. We don't have cults. Anyone who don't believe in that, he is no Christian, that's all. Like Muhammad. But Lou, look at you. Your prophet saying that only one of the sect of his sect will go to heaven, the rest will go to hell. <laughs> which which sect is going to go to heaven, Abdul? Which sect is the sect of Muhammad? I remember Muhammad said. That Bada al Islam Gariban was so far, which means Islam start as a strange religion and is going to end as a strange religion, which means Islam will be few. So few only people will go to heaven. Which one? Sunni cannot be because they are the majority. And Sunni, how many sect inside the Sunni? Thousands. And actually, this is Muhammad prophecy proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because in Christianity. What you call it sect if we want to say every every church is a sect every church have a different name different leader is a sect we have thousands what 72 huh don't you see that your prophet is a liar if we are talking about people who they are totally different from different religion which means they are coming out of christianity let us say they are cult if this is the case there's millions because many people they have their own belief. So Muhammad is a liar again. If we try to count how many sect right now there is in Islam, only seventy-three. Are you sure? <laughs> oh boy! Now. Uh, Christianity is not a sect and will never be christianity is not a building and will never be christianity is not a bishop or a pope or a person or a christian prince and will never be christianity is a christ anything else that has nothing to do with christianity christians they have one master they have one lord they have one teacher is not even Isaiah, is not even Job, is not even Moses, is not any of those prophets. Our master and our only teacher is the Lord. For all those prophets, they speak for him. They are his servants. The Bible says everything was created by him and for him. So all the prophets of God, they speak only for him. So we don't learn from them. We learn from him. We don't follow them. No, we follow him. I don't follow John. I follow the Messiah. I don't follow Luke. Even Luke and John, 
they are the apostle of Jesus and they are the one who delivered for us the word of Jesus but still I'm not following John I'm following Jesus I'm following the words of Jesus the teaching of Jesus not the teaching of John John himself he learned from the Messiah so I I learned from John what he learned from the Messiah as simple as that so all of us we as a Christians we don't have cults you Muslims are the one who follow cults and now let us go to the cults of Islam which Muhammad and guys here remember what Muhammad said about his cults read carefully with me you see uh, uh, I don't know you remember there is a guy his name James White he said the Ahmadiyya are not Muslims right why they are Muslims because simply they are a new cult okay well, the Muslims are cult anyway all of them but look what Muhammad said and this will refute this madman and those who say Islamic uh, Ahmadiyya are not uh, uh, considered as Muslims. For me, all of them, they are not Muslims. What Muslims? Did, and Muslims do not even know what Muslims mean. Everyone give you his own definition. Go and search the internet, what what, what Islam means. Some they say to you mean submission. Some they say to surrender. Some they say uh, mean peace. <laughs> Read carefully what Muhammad, he said, getting his followers busted. He said, my nation, will be so it doesn't matter what the sect is it is still his nation are you getting my point all the false sects are the nation of muhammad and most of the nation of muhammad they will go to hell according to muhammad only few group of people they will go to heaven read carefully my nation will split into 73 which mean Muslims are the most divided cult you see in the same hadith it says that the Jews they are div div divided into 71 the Christians are divided into 72 the Muslims are divided into 73 so who is the most divided cult Muhammad which means Muhammad have a failure. He could not. Because we need to ask ourselves, why the Jews, they have 71, and why the Christian, they have 72, and why the Muslims are always at the end. <laughs> they are the end of technology. They are the end of dignity. They are the end, the end of the, everything. If you don't believe me, just go to the Middle East. Their judges is corrupt, their kings is corrupt, their police is corrupt, the grocery store is corrupt, everything is corrupt. You cannot even buy one kilograms of potato or tomato, it is not damaged. So Muhammad, he knew what kind of people are following him. Actually, in different hadith, it says, one of the Arab, he said to him, who will follow you except the gang and the criminals? Muhammad, he said, yes, but they are better than you. <laughs> better than this tribe and this tribe but he agreed they are criminals they are the outlaw the Salik so here Muhammad he, he is, he is uh, uh, you know he is proven to us that his nation is the most divided nation ever and now look at this let us say Muhammad is saying the truth let us say Muhammad for the sake of argument is saying the truth which one of those choices is better choice for you guys let me tell you something to make it simple if i say to you there is a three buildings one of them one of them have 71 door one door is a true door for heaven the other one have 72 door and one door of them is the door for heaven and the other one have 73 doors and one of them is the door for heaven which one you will take Guys, are you following me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Which one I should follow? Which, which, if I am a smart person, which one I should enter in? One building have 71 doors. One of them is to heaven. That's mean my option to win. Let us say it's like gambling is one to 72 to 71 to, to 71. And the other building is one to 72. The, the third building is 1 to 73. Well, you have to be stupid to go to 173. 
because there your chance to win is less so join Islam is the most stupid option you can do from the mouth of Muhammad are you guys following with me I don't you know you see, you see how stupid you are I just answer you we don't belong to a cult we belong to Jesus what cult show me where in the Bible it says there is a Catholic and Protestant and then I will be any of them what Catholic what Protestant Catholic Protestant Orthodox they are my brothers and sisters why because simply they are Christians who believe in Jesus as I do differences between them will not make any difference but the difference between Muslim Shia and Sunni is a huge the Shia believe that Muhammad is made from light and he is not a human Sunni they believe that Muhammad was a create the whole world is created for him but still they believe he is a human The Shia, they say the Quran is not a book of God. The true book of God is with Fatima. He took it from Al Mahdi, he took it from her, and he will bring it later. <laughs> if we go here in this website, just to show you the madness of the Muslims, not only the Muslims confirm to us that the goat ate their book, here this is this is the website, it's called alislam.org. Alislam.org. Just to show you, I'm not making things up, my friend. Okay, this is alislam.org. All right, here they will say to you that according to Islamic books, there is a big problem. And what is the problem? Read with me carefully. They are just giving you an example. Just giving you an example. All right. It says, it is interesting to point out that there is many enormous traditions reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, which allege that many verses of the Quran are missing. Not only that, but also these Sunni reports allege that two chapters from the Quran are missing. One of them was similar to the chapter of Al-Baqarah. In the length, like what the heck? Do you know how big is the cow chapter, brother? Do you know how big the cow chapter? Let me show you. If we go right now to the cow chapter, I mean, you, you feel like you are you you are in the zoo when you speak to it about about the Quran. This is the Quran, and this is the cow chapter, two hundred eighty-six verses. Two hundred what? Eighty-six verses. Okay, 286 verses? But they are saying here that this is, my friend, this is here. Look what it says. Two chapters from the Quran are missing. One of them was similar to the chapter nine and al-baqarah in length some sunni tradition even claim that the chapter of al-ahzab was as the length of the chapter of the cow what al-ahzab is was in the length of al the cow okay the cow is 286 verses how many al-ahzab is let us go 286 let us see al-ahzab what happened to al-ahzab <laughs> you know the quran my friend is a is a preserved the quran is what is a preserved brother not like the christian book yeah let us go to al-ahzab chapter where is the al-ahzab chapter uh, ahzab 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 preserved right yeah <clears throat> what happened? This website is slowing with me. I cannot move my mouse.
just to make it simple, there is almost 200, more than 200 something verses missing from one chapter. How that can happen? Any Muslim can tell us. I don't know what uh, the, the website is not uh, moving up and down, but the, the mouse is not uh, acting. Maybe there is a script in this. Uh, you see, it's not even, I'm, I'm not moving the mouse, it's moving by itself. Something not right. Anyway, I'm waiting for it to stop. Anyway, so let me close. Hold on. Let us see. <clears throat> All right, maybe now it's working. Anyway, so there is more than 200 verses is missing in one chapter in the Quran. And the one who witnessed for that is the scholars of Muslims. The chapter of the cow is the biggest chapter of the present Quran, the present Quran, take a note. The traditions inside Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim even present some of the missing verses. Okay. Then they continue. Look, there's something more horrible is to come. Read carefully with me. The completeness of the Quran is so indisputable among Shia. That's the greatest scholar of the Shia in Hadith. Abu Ja'far, Muhammad, etc., etc., etc. wrote, Our belief is that the Quran, which Allah revealed to his prophet, is the same as the one between two covers. Okay, where are they? Hmm. And it is the one which in the hands of the people and not a greater in ex extent than the numbers of the surahs are generally accepted, etc., etc. And then he continues saying, the one who say extend than that is a liar. Okay, so obviously there's some people they say it's bigger than that, a lot more bigger. Then we continue. <clears throat> they say here, uh, actually here they are just quoting, I don't want to quote the scholars, I want to just go to the, the important one. Let us see where is, uh, where is uh, uh, the statement of Omar, which I like it very much. I heard Abu Jafar saying, no one among the ordinary people claimed to be gathered up. Okay, now this one. All those reference is for the corruption of the Quran. But I want to go to Umar. The story of Umar is one of the most funny ones. Uh, this means Abdullah ibn Mas'ud not only had a different Quran, but also based on Sunni source, he had different squints of, uh, of chapters. Uh, and the different bit of, of set of ayat, which mean verses. And then alleged, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you know, okay, here we go. Here we go. Read, guys. While I was with Aisha, the mother of the believers, a person from Iraq came and asked what type of shrud is the best. Aisha said, may Allah be merciful with you. What does, what does it matter? He said, Oh, mother of the believers, show me a copy of your Quran. She said, why? He said, in order to compel and arrange the Quran according to it. For the people recite it with its surah, not in a proper, not in a proper order. As she said, what does it matter which part if you read first? Be informed that the first thing that was revealed, therefore, was the surah of Al-Mufassal. And it was mentioned paradise and fire. But which book now we can find they have this verse as the first verse in the Quran? Which verse is that verse or this chapter? Second tradition, you know, anyway, this article is very good actually. You can read it, all of it, all of it. But the most funny one is what Omar he said. Uh, 
Where is the one about Omar? I'm trying to find it. Let us see, Omar. And the funny, they say to you that your book is gone. <laughs> your book, your book is gone. Are you sure? Okay. Uh, Omar said to me, Omar said to me, Omar said to me, all those verses, okay. Omar, Omar, Omar al Khattab, okay, following this course, okay, the caliphate. I'm trying to find the hadith where he said the Quran was a thousand, thousand, and twenty five thousand letter. Interesting. Anyway, if you have the website, you can search it yourself and you will see, which means more than 70% of the Quran is, is gone. It's totally gone, disappeared. It's not there. Let us see here. Maybe not in this article. Okay. Yeah, look like not not in this article. Anyway, so all those statements written by Muslims about missing verses and chapters in the Quran, huge chapters are missing. Additional to that, we find this Abdul who asked me the question about the books in the Bible. He confirmed to us that those books are missing too. Shouldn't ask. I ask myself. As long the Muslim is worried about why the Protestant they have different numbers of books from the Catholic, how come he is not worried about not having those books in his book? Where is the book of Genesis in the Quran? Where we can find those books? What happened? Those are not important no more. Where we can find the book about Joshua in the Quran? Any Muslim can tell me? Where we can find Samuel in the Quran? He's gone. There's no existence. Who is Samuel? Do you know? What is the teaching of Israel? Jacob, Ezra, Nehemiah, Ishtar, Job, Psalm, etc. Where? Where we can find the book? A, a, a prophet like Isaiah, where we can find his teaching in the Quran. What is the book of Isaiah? What is the book of Jeremiah? How a person like Ezekiel is missing in the Quran? Where is Daniel? Where is Husha? Where is Joel? Where is all those books? Where we can find them? What is the book of Jonah? What happened to the Quran? What the Quran is about? This Quran is a book of what? Why the Muslims is not important for them to know about those prophets? You see, the Muslims, they say they have 124,000 prophets. Can you name them for me? I mean, why you are telling your followers that there is 124,000 prophets, but your Quran is empty? The Quran mentioned 25 names. All of them are pronounced either wrong or either wrong, or their parents are wrong, or their, their tribe is wrong. Like as an example,
the Quran keep calling the Muslim, the, the, the Jews, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel. And I cannot find any Muslim can help us. Okay. Who are they? Those people, the children of Israel. And who is this guy, Israel? No answer. This is a very simple example about the stupidity of this book because this book is not meant to be a book. This book is just a guy trying to refute the Jews about him being a prophet. A book from God should include teaching. Not a stupid statement. Oh, children of Israel, remember my favor upon you. Okay, what is your favor? Where we can find the story of the favor you gave the Jews. Where is the stories of Moses in details? If you go and read the story of Moses in the Quran, you, you die from laughing. When the Quran speak about Abraham as an example. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آزَرَةِ We go translation just to show you the stupidity of this, this, this madness religion. Chapter 6, verse number 74. Okay, what Abraham he said? Read, read, read carefully. Lu, <laughs> Abraham said to his father, Lu, Azar. What Azar? Who is Azar? I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can't tell me who is Azar. Any Muslim can tell us? Who's Azar? There's nobody his name is Azar. Muhammad this the thief. He learned the story from somebody speak Aramaic. The guy saying to him that Abraham said to his father Azar, which means stupid fool, idiot. Are you worshiping idols? That makes sense. Huh? Are you going to worship idols? Because Muhammad and his followers are stupid people, do not know what this verse is, is this, this word is mean. So he said, Oh. This is, must be the name of the father of Abraham. He said to him, Azar, my friend. But does it make sense? You say to your father, have you ever heard of somebody saying to his father his name? I mean, this is stupid. Imagine, let us say, my father, his name is George. And I, I say to my father, George. What? Nobody call his father by his name, especially in, in the old days. Maybe now there's children are rude, stupid. You know, I never ever called my father in his name. This is like a, it's a crime. You don't call him by his name. Nobody called his father by his name. So what this is about? Abraham saying to his father that this is foolish. You don't worship idols. But because Muhammad and his followers are just stealing something, they do not know what it's about. They don't know what the word Azar mean. And the funny they say to us, the Quran is an Arabic book. Are you sure? The Quran is an Arabic book? Who is Azar then? Who is Muhammad? Who is Pharaoh? Guys, if you read the story about the Pharaoh, I mean, you will die from laughing. What Pharaoh? There's a guy, his name is Pharaoh. And here, the Quran not only says there is a guy, his name is Pharaoh. No, Muhammad, he, he, the Quran say that Pharaoh is the last name of a family. Yeah, Al Pharaoh. Ask anyone what Al mean. Al mean the family, family, a tribe. Quran says that Pharaoh is the last name of someone. Is that right? <laughs> this is the last name of a family. Their last name is Pharaoh, the Pharaoh. This is the last name, huh? See, guys, what's it? Look at the translation. It says, We deliver to you from the people of Pharaoh. What people of Pharaoh? Ah, the Pharaoh is not the people of the Pharaoh. Al Pharaoh, Al is a family. 
the Pharaoh is not his he is a family of the Egyptian he is one of family no what, what is that change the translation from Pharaoh folk okay who is Pharaoh who is the Muslim one explain to me what Pharaoh who is Pharaoh who is this guy Pharaoh Who is this guy Pharaoh what Pharaoh there's many Pharaohs which one Pharaoh is not a person it's not a name for a person who is Pharaoh you, you know what I mean obviously the one who is reporting here is is an idiot he think Pharaoh is a name of a person there's an individual his name is Pharaoh Who is this guy? What about Moses? In the time of Moses, the Pharisee, the Pharisee, he deceived them. The Pharisee in the time of Moses? <laughs> uh, are you sure? Sorry, that the, the, the summary and the summary, you know, Allah is summary. The summary is in the time of Moses. What happened? What does that mean? Read, read and laugh with me. قال فإن قد فتن قومك من بعدك وأضلهم السامري. Okay, who, who let us see translation what a summary will come in English, chapter 20, verse number 85. A summary. Who the summaries they were they were in the time of uh, are you sure Muhammad? Muhammad is very good in history. Summaries in the time of Musa's. Uh -huh. That is that is history and this this is science. Hmm? What does that mean? The one who wrote the Quran, obviously, he is taking too much hashish. So the Quran is not a book. You see, we cannot say the Quran is a book. Never was a book. And the irony about Muslims, they say to you that, you know, do you know that your Bible is written uh, your Bible written 60 years, 40 to 60 years after the, the Jesus? In the year 2018, we don't have a single copy of a book. It's called the Book of Muhammad. We don't have a single copy of a book. It's called the Book of Uthman, the Book of Omar. We don't have a book. Even the Hadith didn't have a book for it. What is the Book of Sahih al-Bukhari? They don't have a book it's called Sahih Bukhari you see the Muslim they have in the internet a book it's called Sahih Bukhari we cannot find the book so what they have they say to you oh we have people who they are copying from a copy of copy of copy of copy of Sahih Bukhari why you have a copy of copy how you copy from a book but you don't have the original book who is the one who copy from the copy of the copy of the copy and the copy of the copy of the copy of the copy the original copy is written how long after Muhammad Islam does not freeze the Muslim brain the second you are a Muslim you don't have a brain at anymore because you are not thinking you know the, the guy who accept that in heaven God will provide him a lot of women for sex he is not thinking no more I mean you are dead and now you are going to heaven to have sex what does that mean 
in the heaven Muhammad he told them that you will not do poo poo and you would not do you will not do spit and you will not sweat so how you can have sex if you don't have any liquid coming out of you <laughs> I don't want to speak dirty, but you know what I'm talking about, right? What the point of sex if you will not have sexual orgasm? And what is sexual orgasm? So you have sex, but you have no orgasm. No, Muhammad, he said you have orgasm. And even he said you will have orgasm for 70 years. Go, if you have my books, sex and Allah, get it. Do you have my books? How many of you have my books? You will find there with the reference how Muhammad is stating that Every Muslim will have an orgasm of 70 years. So I go to visit Shabir Ali this year. I knock at his door. Shabir Ali, he said, uh, come back later, Christian Prince. I'm, you know, busy. Okay, I come next year. Uh, Shabir Ali still have an orgasm. The year after, Shabir Ali still having an orgasm. 50 years after, Shabir Ali still having an orgasm. 60 years after. 70 years and one day if you are late actually even because the second i come back again he will have a new orgasm <laughs> how a person have a brain can believe in such a garbage 70 years orgasm but yet you have no liquid coming out of you we are going to eat a chicken in heaven but we will not do poo, -poo. uh-huh so we will eat a chicken, but how? By, by the way, uh, uh, the Muslim they call it heaven. Have you ever heard of a heaven? Have only one kind of meat, birds. Where is the fish? Where is the shrimp? Where is the lobster? Hmm. This is the worst open buffet ever. Every day for eternity, you eat you eat bird meat. I'm afraid it's the same bird. <laughs> uh, so you know when a, when a Muslim he speak about his his religion, I'm not. I, the Muslims are they have no idea what Islam is about, and they are worried about uh, Catholic and Protestant. All the Catholic, all the Protestant, all the Orthodox agree that Jesus crucified, Jesus died for us, Jesus is our Savior. They, they believe in the four Gospels, they believe, believe in everything there, and the details is not really important for me. Uh, somebody believed that before we go to heaven, we have to go through like uh, some punishment. I don't care for this kind of belief, because that would not change anything. We get a punishment, we don't get a punishment, that would not get, get Give what to God, to God. I'm not the one who would discuss what God will do to us in the way. None of my business. This is what God will do anyway. What I discuss is my salvation. And all of us, we believe that we have only one Savior. His name is the Messiah. The rest is not important for me. So the Quran always missing everything is important. And the Quran always included everything is silly. This is the most silly book ever. Actually, if you want to see something very silly, if you want to laugh, if you want to die from laughing, but I don't want, don't sue me for dying from laughing, go to the chapter 18. This is the, this is the cartoon chapter. Chapter 18, you can read it from verse number one to verse, whatever verse you want. You will die laughing. Just to give you an idea. Lord have mercy. Till, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Suleiman, now, till when he they reach the valley of the ants. Have you ever heard of a valley of the ants? <laughs> Look like, guys, at the time of Suleiman, there was only ants there. Suleiman, his army is going all the way. He did not see any ants. Only in that valley there is ants. It's called the Valley of the Ants. It's very well known. Very well known. I mean, it's a country. It's like Mexico, California, you know, uh, uh, Croatia, uh, Latvia, Russia. It's it not the Valley of the Ants. It's very well known. Actually, now, right now, they have a they have a team playing in the Mondial. I saw the ants playing. 
in the mundial, yes. And they have one of the ants, her name is Muhammad Salah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeshu and Yahweh through ya what is sound you see Abdul let me ask you a question how come you're a stupid God then he did not mention Yahweh and he did not mention Yeshua and how come he throw the whole world who is Isa <laughs> let us continue read with me and love so when Suleiman he arrived to the valley of the ants, an ant she started talking. What the ant is saying? She said, Oh ants, enter your dwelling, lest Suleiman in his army crush you. That's deep. You see, Allah he forgot to tell us who is Israel. Allah forget to tell us where he got the name of Isa from. Allah forget to tell us who is Saleh, who is Ismail, who is uh, uh, Idris, who is uh, 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 Luqman, who is uh, all the, you know, there's hundreds of names. Allah forgot to explain to us every verse in the Quran. There's no explanation. This is why the Muslim they have to make interpretation for the interpretation. And after all the interpretation, nobody knows what it means. So they say the Muslim they say Allah knows best. Allah don't have time to make interpretation for the Quran. Allah have time to tell us about the ant who spoke to the other ants. But hold on, as I know, the ants are deaf and they are mute. So how Suleiman he heard her speech? <laughs> He heard her speech. Suleiman, he was able to hear her speech, but ants are mute. Have you ever heard of a talking ant? You see, ants, they talk, by the way. They talk. All the creatures, they have their own way of uh, communication, but it's not talking like us. Ants, they communicate in one of two ways. Either vibration or chemical, but they don't talk, they don't have a language of words, they are mute, they are deaf, they cannot hear, they cannot hear, they hear nothing. So, how he heard her speech? Allah have time to tell us about those stupid stories. Those stories Muhammad he stole from the Jews. You know, Muhammad, when he went to the city of Yathrib, which is later Muhammad, he killed all the Jews and he changed the name to Medina, which is a stupid name because Medina means city. How you can call a city a city? I mean, this is stupid. So Muhammad, he learned from the Muslim kids a lot of stories and Muhammad, he took them as for granted. They are true stories, but those are legions of the Jews. They are fairy tale stories. They tell them to their kids. As an example, one of the funny things Muhammad he learned from the Jews, proving Muhammad to be a false prophet, is this: that Allah will torture the believer because of his urine. What is the main reason to be punished by Allah in the grave? Guys, do you see Warsila? Okay, I challenge you to show me Warsila. Hold on, let me show you. Guys, this guy, he, he liked to get spanked. This guy, he liked to get spanked. You want to see Warsila? You want to see Warsila? <laughs> this is Sila, you idiot. You see, the Muslim, they lie. They say that the Mount of Sila is in Medina. But in Arabic, it's called Salah. Have you ever, what Salah have to do with Sila? Salah. You see how they lie? It is Salah. May Allah Salah you. <laughs> and now I have a question for you, Abdul. You gave me a chance to spank you again. As long the Mount of Sila is in Mecca, Muhammad was playing to Jerusalem for what reason? Hello. And where we can find the Mount of Sila in the Quran? Can you show me the name Sila in the Quran? Can you show me either name? The Arabic name 
or the English name? Can you show it to me in the Quran? Can you or you cannot? Okay, show it to me in the Quran. Are you saying Allah He forgot to mention it? Guys, be my witness. Abdul is saying that the Mount of Sila is in the the one is mentioned in the Bible is not mentioned in the Quran. What happened? Here we go again. We are telling you that Allah have time to tell us about the ant speaking to the ants, but He have no time to tell us about the book of Isaiah. Where we can find the book of Isaiah in the Quran speaking about the Mount of Sila? Can you show it to me? Hello? You brought this to yourself. I want to see it. I want to see the Mount of Sila in the Quran. I want to see Isaiah speaking about the Mount of Sila. You don't have it, don't you? And this is what we are saying. We are saying that stupid author of the Quran. He missed everything. The name Sila, by the way, is not exist in Arabic. This is something they add later. The Muslim fabrication, they added to Google. This is the name. It is Sela. 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 Have nothing to do with Sila. Liars. Liars. Liars, liars will end in fire. And by the way, he's trying just to divert me from speaking about the stupid story of Suleiman and the ant. All right? The Muslims, they are people who they copy paste, but they don't know what they are copying and they do not know what they are pasting. They have no idea. Copy, paste, people. And here we go. This guy, he mentioned to us the Mount of Sila. What Sila mean? And what Salah mean? They don't know. Why it's called the Mount of Sila? They don't know. Why it's mentioned? They don't know. Or what they know, somebody told them it is in Medina. That's it. Who near we do not need to know more? Okay, who said that your prophet? No. Who? Who is the one who told you that, Abdul? That this is about the Mount of Sila. Who is the one who come with this? They don't know. Your prophet is from the tribe of Qidar. Your prophet is from Qidar. <laughs> so who is Quraysh? Your prophet from Qidar, isn't he? Who is Quraysh then? Your, did your prophet change his name? Madness. And what is the name of the God of Isaiah? And what is the name of the God of Muhammad? How come they are not the same God? Mm. We go back to the story. He's just trying to take us away from the funny story about the speech of the ant. Yeah, Allah, he forgot to tell us about where is Sila location and what is Sila. And he forgot to mention the name. We cannot find the name Salah. Which is the name is exist in Arabic, and we cannot find the name Sila, which is the name is exist in the Bible. Now he's here. Look, when this when the ant she spoke and Suleiman he heard her speech, he smiled. Look how cute Suleiman is. I mean, this guy, he have a super 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 reception. And I will tell you why. You see, how many ants? Are exist in that area you guys you can guess how many ants they live in one colony can somebody give me an average anyone can tell me how many ants they live together in one colony 
with a search in profit Google. What is the average? All right. Oh boy, guys, you don't want to see the number. You don't want to see the number. We are talking about hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Maybe millions. And Suleiman, he heard only one ant. <laughs> Why? What happened to the rest? <laughs> I will tell you why. Because there's only one ant talk there. Okay? Don't you understand? There's only one ant. She is in charge of the warning. The rest are mute. <laughs> and he heard, he heard her speech. What? What? He heard the ants. What about the rest? He did not hear their speeches? This is a miracle. This is stupid, Abdul. What's what? What? what this is miracle. This is a miracle. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Your God in the same, in the same Quran, said that Allah He taught Suleiman the language of birds. How Allah He taught him the language of birds, but yet Suleiman is understanding the ants. Can you explain to me? And Suleiman. Solomon was David higher and he said oh mankind Lou we have been taught the language of birds okay thank you very much Allah he taught him the language of birds by the way I speak it too seriously now Allah he taught Suleiman the language of birds but yet he understand the language of the ants can you are you there Abdul are you there what is the miracle? This is stupid. Allah, he taught him the language of birds. And then, two meters after, Suleiman is understanding the language of birds. Look like Suleiman, he been entered into the wrong classroom. Allah, he wanted him to register to learn the language of birds, but Suleiman, when he went inside the school, he learned the language of... <laughs> Of ants. <laughs> Any Muslim can tell me how Allah He taught Suleiman the language of birds, but He understand the language of ants. Who want to tell me? Any Abdul? They have no answer. No answer whatsoever. Welcome to Islam, my friend. This is exactly what Islam is about. A man of Israel hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among of you by miracles. Yeah, and what? So, what's the problem now? You want to change it? Uh, they want to answer about the birds? Now, this is your concern? This is your concern, right? Copy paste? Hmm. <clears throat> well, I have a surprise for you from the same chapter, my friend. Do you like me to read for you? Do you like this chapter? Because I can read it for you and you will be unhappy. What do you say? Do you like to call me, Susu? Be honest, do you like do you have the courage to call me and ask me the questions life? What do you say? <clears throat> hmm? What do you say? Okay. What I can say to you, because the same chapter you asked me to read it from is saying that Jesus is God. What do you say? Do you accept it or not? In the same book you are reading for me from, what it says in verse number 36 or you are only interested in 222 you are not interested in 236 are you <laughs> <laughs> do 
let us see what it does say in 236 let me get you busted you are the one who asked for it it's not my fault i mean why you asked me to read it for you let us go and see what the bible is saying <coughs> And you say to me where Jesus said I am God and where is the, the and you are as long as you are posting me for me from the book of act it's mean you like it so we will give you what you like you like as simple as that okay all right let us go there oh <laughs> Read with me what it says. The same chapter you are asking me to read from, and laugh at yourself. It says that Jesus is both. He is the Christ and he is your God at the same time. Do you see it? Does it say that or I'm making things up? You ask me to read it from Act. I'm reading from Act. He is Christ, the man, and he is Christ, the Lord. And my Lord, if he say to the birds, speak, they speak. Not like your Lord, he sent Suleiman to learn the language of birds. Yet, Suleiman, he learned the bird, the language of the ants. <laughs> Let us continue. So Suleiman here, after that, guys, he have a bird. His name is a hubu, the hubu, hubu. Do you know what the hubu is? Let me show you an image of a hubu. So you can, because maybe you don't know what hubu is. Okay, this is the hubu. <laughs> Guys, Suleiman is a prophet and he is a king of kingdom. And supposedly, according to Muhammad and Islam, he have unlimited number of soldiers. Even genies fight for him. Genie, genie, yeah, genie in the ball. Yeah, and he put them in chains. I mean, this guy is something. He had a minister. And this minister is in charge of irrigation and farming. And he have a part-time job is to find women who have no hair in their legs not like some women who have hair in their legs <laughs> and they shave it from time to time no so man will not get that so his bird he fly far away all the way to Yemen looking for a woman she have no hair in her legs but he did not tell the king that he is leaving so Suleiman was upset Suleiman, he said, What is uh, what is uh, the hoopoo? What is the hoopoo? The hoopoo, the hoopoo, what is the hoopoo? Is he among the absent? Unbelievable. Suleiman goes every day and check his birds. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you why he noticed right away that this guy is absent because he is from the minister cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are getting away ants and birds are not animals no they are animals my friend no they are not animals you see you idiot go study hayawanat hayawanat is not insect you idiot animals are not insect you see how stupid you are hello hello <laughs> so now Suleiman he he don't know where is this guy he's gone his minister this this is a minister that's why he's missing he you know he have a cabinet sitting the you know he have a genie sitting in the ranks they have the captain chicken because he have an army of birds they have general chicken they have he have general turkey i'm not joking but i, I can show you all the reference this guy he have an army of birds Actually, it's going to say here in the Quran. Just wait. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming, man. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. <coughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Read with me. So the man have an army of birds. And there we are gathered together into Suleiman. His armies. Guys, do you see it? I'm not saying anything. This is Quran. His armies of jinn and humankind and of the birds. Birds? 
what the screen is showing is not showing guys is not isn't the screen showing for you isn't it showing what do you mean please the screen uh, maybe it's not showing the whole text for you it doesn't matter my friend this is chapter 18 he can go and read verse number 17 come on you can open a browser on your own so here here you see one of the most funny this is this this verse alone is enough to prove to us that muhammad himself is a chicken and his god is a shish kebab and falafel what kind of god he says that Suleiman have an army of a chicken you know human ma mankind that's normal genie do you know what genie is? Actually, in the Quran, this is not genie. This is a false translation. It says shayateen. I will show you later the shayateen. And then, chicken? Army of birds? Like what? Uh, General Turkey? Can we find General Turkey, uh, Major Tur major, uh, major Duck? Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh boy this verse alone is enough for me to prove muhammad to be a false prophet this is a story for kids even kids will not believe it once i was telling a, a child she is like five six years old you, you, you know uh, do you see this broom we can fly with it she said you think i'm stupid <laughs> five years old she said to me do you think i'm stupid <laughs> how did she can talk five years old kid did not believe in this garbage muhammad is telling us that suleiman have an army of birds is that correct <clears throat> would allah have army of birds too if you go to the chapter of the elephant, if you remember the story, where Allah He sent His army to destroy an ar an army of elephant, army of elephant, birds they can destroy an army of elephants. How they can do that? According to the Quran, those birds they carry a rocks made from a clay. What? Made from a clay? Yeah. And they throw the rocks over the elephants. Mm. Why can I sorry man? This is not miracle, my friend. What is the miracle there? This is miracle. This is stupid. Flying carpet. Guys, do you, is this is a miracle or this is stupid? Suleiman, he have a genie to dig for him and to find him jewelry from the from from the, from the from the deep sea. This is a miracle. This is stupid. Shaitan, he sleep with the wives of Suleiman. This is a miracle. This is stupid. Shaitan, he steal the ring of Suleiman when he go to the bathroom. This is a miracle. This is a stupid. This is an insult for a prophet. How the wives of Suleiman they find out that this is Shaitan? Can you tell me according to your Islamic books, guys? This is what happened according to Muslims. Suleiman have a ring. It's called the the ring of the Lord, the, the Lord of the Ring. <laughs> Hoributar. <laughs> By this ring, he control everything. Everything. By the way, I used to have a ring like this, but I lost it. Honest to God, guys, if I read for you the story about the, 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 the ring, you will die from laughing. Now, okay, hold on. Who is the Muslim? He have the courage to call me right now and read the story about the ring for us. And tell us where is the miracle there? Who want to do that? Suleiman have no a miracle according to you. Why Suleiman? He have to have miracles. Who is Suleiman anyway? Who is Suleiman? You know Suleiman. Who is Suleiman? Why Suleiman should have a miracle? Can you tell me? Who is Suleiman? You Muslims, you have a mental issue. Okay, you know what? You Muslim, you claim that Suleiman is a prophet, right? Okay, give me a prophecy of Mr. Suleiman. What is a prophecy? There's a person who is a prophet for prophesying about God. And there's a prophet who is God made him prophesy, which means 
I can be a person who prophesy to you that if you don't go to heaven that's your fault for God he warn you but that does not make me a prophet I prophesy to you that you will go to hell I believe in that so if Suleiman is a prophet in this meaning okay no problem now show me the prophecy of Suleiman I want a Muslim right now to show me the prophecy of Suleiman in the Quran what is the prophet Suleiman in the Quran what he prophesy about what this story is then about if if, if Suleiman he have nothing to do with the prophecy so why you call him prophet guys the Muslims is the one speaking about Suleiman as a prophet. Can't you show me a prophecy of Suleiman? We want to see one. What is the prophecy of Suleiman? Who want to show it to us? We don't have any prophecy. So why you call him prophet? <laughs> Guys didn't have a prophecy. So why you call him prophet? So he don't prophesy from his own and God did not prophesy through him. So why you call him prophet? I would tell you why because Muhammad is a thief he copied that from the Jews all those stories are from the stupid stories of the Jews you can you can find those books in the heritage of the Jews the children kids tell stories they tell them before you go to the bed when when you're a prophet he start saying that the punishment of the grave is because of urine where he learned this from this is stupid he got this from the Jews Muhammad he never heard of it Muhammad never spoke about this before all his life until one day uh, two Jewish women they came to Aisha and then after they come to Aisha suddenly and they spoke about the punishment of the grave Aisha she said to them you are a liar there's no such a thing such a thing she asked Muhammad What is the punishment of the grave? He said, "Yes, there is a punishment of the grave." This is true. This is true. And Aisha, she said, since that date, Muhammad never stopped saying, "I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave." What do you say? Hmm? <coughs> Anyone? And uh, the Abdul is asking me to read from the from the uh, first king. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> uh, what what's your what's his name? What his name? Uh, course, course. Listen, I have a challenge for you. You call me life. I will read for you that uh, king, if the first king, and I will show you the same story from your prophet. And you read it for us, and I want you to laugh at both. Can you do that? Can you do that? I will show you even your prophet in the Quran speaking about this story that this guy he wanted to sleep with 99 women in order to do jihad. Is that true? Is that true? 99 women? 99 women because he want to make 99 Abdul. Guys, who knows who who remember the story of the ninety nine? <clears throat> who who remember the story? Look, now he is uh, so quiet. I'm telling you, just because they are ignorant, you know, they 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 they, they laugh at things. The, uh, what they have in their book is a t uh, like Suleiman is a king. Suleiman, David, they are kings. And David cry for God for his sin. If we go and see Muhammad, Muhammad is speaking about David. He wanted to sleep with 99 women in order to make them all Britain in one, one, one night. Is that true? Is that a true Abdul? Hmm. Let us show you the story so we can love.
But the story is very funny. And this is again, you see, the Muslims are helping me to prove that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. What kind what kind of a prophet he say such a thing? What kind of a prophet he say such a stupid thing? I mean, what this story is about. Let me show it to you. <clears throat> All right. You want to read for you first kings, huh? Mm, first kings. Let us see. Allah apostle said, once Solomon, the son of David, said, By Allah, by Allah, I will have a sexual intercourse with the 100 or 99. Muhammad is not sure. I guess you be like, honest, honestly, Muhammad is so honest. I mean, look. He report the story with honesty like come on I'm not sure really if it's a hundred or 99 to be honest with you <laughs> and why he want them why he want to sleep with all those women in one night brother brother let me tell you why the the prophet Sulaimun Sulaimun he want to have sex with with the hundred women or 99 I'm not sure maybe 99 and a half because he want them all to get the bread net. I mean, look at this guy. Even Christian Prince cannot do that. He will sleep with 100 women in one night? Hold on. Where is the calculator? And you are telling me your prophet is a prophet? And you are the one who is asking me to speak about Suleiman and David sleeping with women? Hold on, hold on. You brought that for yourself. I told you 1,000 times, everything you, you speak with me is going to be used against you. So he is going to have 100 women to sleep with them in this night. All right? This night. The night is what? How many hours? Eight hours? Okay. Oh, boy. Oof, 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 oof. oof. Suleiman, not Suleiman, not Solomon. He is going to have sex with the twelve women every hour. No, actually, it says 12, 12 women and the half. I don't know what the half will go now. <laughs> My friend, anyone prophesy about God is a prophet, but doesn't mean he's a prophet who have a message delivered by God. If I prophesy about God, the Bible says the following. Anyone who prophesy about God is a prophet. However, his prophecy have to come true, and he should prophesy in the name of the true God. But that will not make him a prophet who receive it from God. I can prophesy for you, as I said right now, but that will not make a prophet in that meaning. So we can call David a prophet, but he's a sinner because he prophesy. He made. He made the wonderful songs about God prophesying about his glory. But he is not like uh, Moses or like uh, Isaiah or etc. You Muslims, you have endless numbers of a prophets. And they are prophets for one reason, because they are so good in sex. And I can prove it. And here we go. In the front of us, we have an example. What we, what make David a prophet for Muhammad? Give me a reason. It is one reason, because David he can have sex with the twelve women and the half every hour. And guys, the story is even getting more more funny. I don't know if you are reading with me. Read, read carefully. So David, he decided to to uh, to have sex with one hundred women. All of them in one night. I mean, this guy suddenly he decided to have sex with all of them in one night. I mean, can't you wait until tomorrow? <laughs> what about yesterday? What about you do ten yesterday and ten today? <laughs> Look like a Viagra. I was working very good at that time. One hundred women in one night. One hundred women? Are you sure, Muhammad? No, I'm not sure really. I think it was ninety nine. <laughs> and then. David 
he did have sex with all of them, but he made a mistake. Anyone knows what the mistake is? After he have sex with the 100 women, Allah gave him a half man. Like what, what, what? Half man only? David, he had sex with 100 women and then Allah gave him only half man. Why? The delivery guy was eating the food, the pizza? <laughs> brother, a brother, David, he made a big mistake. Before he start having sex, he forgot to say the password. Anyone knows what is the password? He forgot to say, Insha'Allah. <laughs> this is a prophet of God talking, Muhammad. A guy, because he forgot to say, Allah is willing, Insha'Allah. After having sex with 100 women, Allah made him have half men. And how insulting to say half man for somebody is disabled. This is what they mean, disabled. Do you see how stupid Muhammad is? This is a prophet of God. Okay, how you explain to me all the women in the world, they get a bread net and they have a healthy child and none of them, he says, inshallah, before sex. Any Abdul? Any Abdul? The poor... David, he's a prophet of God and had sex with 100 women to make jihad. He want to do jihad. He want to establish Al-Qaeda. He want to have 100 kids in one night. And then because he forgot to say, inshallah, Allah gave him half delivery. Mm. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Do we have any Muslim here? So let us make it short and simple. Islam is a collection of stupid stories. You have to be a stupid fool to believe in this garbage. You have to be officially a stupid fool to believe in such a garbage. Question. As long as Muhammad he mentioned to us that Suleiman, sorry, David, is obsessed with having sex with women in order to make them get a bread net all. Who is the name of David, son? Give me one. Any Muslim can name for us? David want to do jihad. He decided to have sex with all those women. Allah gave him one son. What his name? <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> My friend, we don't run from the Bible. You are the one who run from the Bible, you idiot. And your God Allah, your God Allah, He admit that we have the true Bible in our hand. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? This is how stupid the Quran is. How you say the Christians, even the Quran says, you Christian, you have nothing unless you practice what Allah gave you between your hands. They have it between their hands. Oh, Lord have mercy. Stupidity is intelligence these days. We go back to the bird. Guys, I actually I encourage all of you to read this story in the chapter of 18. I'm telling you, the chapter 18 is the most funny, hilarious. Actually, I'm thinking to make a book just about chapter 18 alone. And I will call it the chapter of the cave. I will put a picture of the cave, you know, like in my coming trip. I'm going after a few weeks somewhere. And I will try to go somewhere where there's, there's caves and I will I will take some pictures to make them for my new coming book, which is going to be about the cave chapter. And by the way, this book I'm working right now in, right now I am in page, I think, 5960. <clears throat> this book will be small. It's going to be like 100 pages. So in two weeks from now, I hope, we will have it ready. And right now, actually, my book, uh, Sex and Allah, <clears throat> is uh, is like uh, the best ranks in uh, Amazon France, Amazon Germany, Amazon, etc. It's really doing great. Look like uh, a lot of Muslims buying this book. And I was actually, I was uh, expecting that to happen because you see the Muslims, the second you say to them, sex, Muslims will buy the book. 
otherwise explain to me why a lot of Muslims are buying the book many Muslim want to tell me six and Allah the second you say six the Muslim they forget about Allah so they buy the book and this book is full of stories which is hilarious I don't know how many of you have it already uh, by the way don't forget to make a review about it even Muslims you can make a review please don't forget you don't like it give it one star just give make a review please for my, for the sake of Allah it's a fantastic book Abdul <clears throat> you should have it do you have it uh, course do you have it I should send you a, a copy as a gift what do you think because I think sooner or later you will leave Islam uh, I, I receive a message from somebody he said to me uh, you know Christian Prince you know what I hate you I swear I hate you <laughs> I said okay I understand he said no you don't understand I was a fool I was worshiping Allah all my life that's why I hate you <laughs> I used to wake up very early in the morning blowing my nose for this stupid false God this is why I hate you I discovered that I was a stupid all my life and this is why I hate you uh, he believe in heaven full of sex and this is why he hate me now because he discovered that this is all is a hocus a stupid thing he believe in the flying carpet of Suleiman and the ring of Suleiman and the shaitan sleeping with the wife of Suleiman without using a candom, which is making it more horrible. What if shaitan have AIDS? Hmm? Don't Allah he think about it? I mean, how Allah allowed shaitan to sleep with the wives of Suleiman? What if shaitan have AIDS? What do you think, guys? Isn't it possible? He's shaitan. He sleeps with a lot of women. This is shaitan himself. <laughs> and by the way, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> There's a king. A famous king. I hope Muslims will help me. What's his name? He die standing. Any Muslim can tell me what his name? Any Muslim can tell us. Is it true that he dies standing, this king, and nobody notice, not even his family? Not even his wives, not even his army, not even his ministers. He's dead, but yet he is standing. <coughs> what is the name of the king who dies standing? Muslims who want to give us the correct answer. The Muslim who give me a correct answer, I will send you one way ticket to Afghanistan vacation. Any Muslim can tell me who is the king who who is the prophet in Islam who died standing because he was holding a stick? <laughs> Guys, I always hold a stick with me because I want to die standing. Imagine, imagine this mad religion told him that Suleiman Solomon he dies standing and nobody notice for a long time that he's dead and then the termite was eating his stick you know the one he stand in the termite they ate the stick and this is how they notice he fell down this is why he, they noticed that he's dead, he's dead. <laughs> oh boy Muhammad, you are hilarious, my brother. Brother Muhammad, Prophet of Allah, you are hilarious. You are the most authentic prophet. I mean, you're, you, you are the best. Even the genie. Guys, even the genie did not notice. Uh, 
What do you think? How this story happened? Any Muslim have an explanation? Mm. <clears throat> what a crazy religion. I mean, you have to be mentally ill, mentally sick, not to notice that this is stupid. How in the world you can believe in such a garbage? And guys, if you see the Muslims speaking about this in their Islamic TV, you will not believe it. You see the Sheikh is a, a brother, a brother Suleiman. He knows he's going to die, brother. So he holds the stick standing. And his eyes is open. His eyes is open. The guy is dead and his eyes is open. Why? <laughs> okay. And now he's standing. Okay. And holding a stick. I want to make I want I want this to I want to see one person in the world. He die holding a stick and he stand dance standing like this after death. Is that possible? Muslims, is that possible? If I hold a stick and I die, I will stay standing? Hello? Uh, why are you afraid? This is in Surah Al-Ma'idah. What in Surah Al-Ma'idah? <clears throat> you want me to read Surah Al-Ma'idah? Are you sure, Kus? Okay, guys, this guy, he wants me to read Surah Al-Ma'idah. I mean, what I can do? Customers come first. Seriously. If if the customer, he's a Muslim, and the Muslim, he said, read for us the chapter of Al-Ma'idah. So what we can do now? What we can do? Do you want me to read about Allah sending to Jesus seven whales in sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> you are afraid to read for us al maida my friend hmm. read, read carefully guys the story which is taken supposedly from the new testament but look how stupid muhammad is chapter 5 verse number 112 and the disciples say to jesus son of mary is the lord able to send down to us a table this is what they say to him. Those guys are with him all the time and they saw tons of miracles and now they are asking for a table. <laughs> hey, Jesus, can your God, can your God send us uh, this of uh, shrimp? Can he send us uh, like uh, open buffet, shrimp, uh, you know, cocktail, falafel, hummus? Can your God do that? Oh, you cannot see the screen. Hold on, hold on. Okay, sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. Yeah, good. You remind me. Okay. This is the chapter Al Ma'idah. This guy, he asked me to read from there. It's not my fault. The Muslim, he asked me to go there. What I can do? The disciples of Jesus, they said to him, but by the way, the Quran, they never say the word Jesus says Isa. We do not know who is Isa. When the disciple says to Jesus, Son of Mary, is uh, the Lord. Able? What the heck? Those are his followers asking him if he's able. What mean able mean? <laughs> Is Allah able to send us a sandwiches? <laughs> this is a book made for kids or made for adult? Abdul, is that a book made for kids or for, for cartoon? The disciple, they said to Jesus, can your God send us sandwiches? Okay, we want hamburger. Can your God send us hamburger? Okay, and I want uh, Isa. Isa, hold on. Uh, okay, I want ketchup, uh, mayonnaise, uh, chick beans, and sausages. Okay, and please, 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 no, no salt because the doctor told me I have a cholesterol problem. Pressure problem. <laughs> uh, 
Guys, if you read the interpretation of this story, you will die from laughing. You will die from laughing. After Allah, He sent those disciples, the disciples refused to eat. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Imagine they are the one who asked him to send. <laughs> Anyone knows <coughs> why they refused to eat it? Who knows? Hey, Avox. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You know what I can do? A Muslim, he challenged me, so I cannot resist the temptation. I, I, I am weak when it's come to Muhammadan. Anyone knows why? Why the disciples of Jesus, after they order their menu, and the the waitress they they, they delivered <laughs> seven whales, brother, seven whales, seven whales in seven loaves. Do you believe it? After they deliver it. The disciple they refuse to eat it. Anyone knows why? What do you say? <clears throat> uh, where Mary she get the food from? I can show it to you from the Quran. According to your God, Allah He used to send her food, you idiot. <laughs> and Allah He told her, shake that, shake the palm tree. <laughs> A pregnant woman, she can shake the palm tree. You know what? I challenge you to bring five men to shake a palm tree. Five, ten. A woman, she shake the palm tree. Okay. Palm tree in uh, in Israel. Uh -huh. Okay. You are watching too much movies. So here, guys, after the disciple, they ask Isa to ask his God to send the sandwiches. Allah, he sent seven sandwiches. Every sandwich have I'm serious I'm saying sandwich is a sandwich I'm not joking I'm not quitting them you know this is serious every loaf of a bread have one wheel Oof. and every wheel can eat from it seven thousand people Oof, if, 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 if. but then Jesus after he delivered this seven wheel he told his disciple okay the delivery is here eat the disciple they said no Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 we cannot eat from it. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Why did the cyber they refuse to eat? Anyone knows? Anyone of you knows? Nobody knows? I mean, why I'm the only one in the world knows what this stupid religion is about? <laughs> because, brother, the disciples, they were worried that there is a poison. Like, what the heck? Allah, he said the sandwiches have poison? What? My friend, I'm not making fun of Jesus. I'm making fun of your stupid Quran. This is not Jesus. This is not, The Quran never say even the word Jesus there, my friend. You have your own Jesus. I'm making fun of your stupid story. Very disappointed, aren't you? So the disciples they refuse to eat because they are afraid that Allah He put rat poison for them in the sandwiches. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Any Abdul? Is that a true story? So the 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 poor Isa he called Allah. He asked him to send sandwiches, and then and guys, and those who ate from the sandwiches. Anyone knows what happened to them after that? Anyone knows? None of you knows, right? Okay, I got it, I got it. I'm the only one knows here. The one who ate from the sandwiches, Allah blessed their life. And after that, they never suffer from hunger. <laughs> I want to eat from that sandwich, man. One bite, you never eat again. That's it. You are full of energy for the rest of your life. And not only that. All those who ate from the sandwiches, the seven sandwiches of Allah, they never get poor. All of them became rich. They never get sick. They never have a vision problem. They never have diarrhea. They never have any kind of sickness. They never lose their teeth. And they became very wealthy and never get hungry again. All of this because they ate from the seven sandwiches of Allah. This must be a true story. 
I want to compare between the sandwich of Isa in the Quran and the sandwich of Muhammad in the Hadith. Look what happened to the poor Muhammad. Muhammad, he ate a sandwich. It was a goat. He said, the Prophet in his element of death, he said to Aisha, Oh, Aisha, hey, Aisha, Aisha, here, look at me. I feel the orta, my orta is getting off. What, my husband, what are you talking about? Your orta is getting off? Yes, 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 it's getting off. You don't believe me? Put your hand here. No, no, <laughs> this is not my orta. <laughs> this is my eye. Aisha, here, here, here. Yeah, <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Stop digging my nose. D down, down. Okay, here, yeah, here, here, I yeah. This is here, my orta, and I feel it cut it off. Okay, why, husband, why you do uh, orta cut it off? Because I ate a goat. I ate a goat, and this goat had poison. So the one who eat from the sandwich of Isa, he never gets sick. And the one who eat from the sandwich of Muhammad, Muhammad himself, he die. Any Muslim can explain to us what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Anyone? Oh, boy. <clears throat> anyway, my friends, I hope you did enjoy your time with you with us here today, this morning. I better go back to my uh, my book. Should I show you my, my book? Eh, it's too early. I don't want to... You know, like, uh, don't break the action of the movie. If it's a nice movie, this coming book is going to be nice. Uh, I think people they will like it. Show us Al Maida 72. This guy he wants me to show you the Maida 72. Are you sure, Abdul? Are you sure? Okay, you promise me you will not curse me for showing you Al Maida 72. Okay, I will show him Al Maida 72. He asked for it. I mean, this guy was almost dying. He wanna he wanna show us Al Maida seventy two. All right, okay. Here we go. Al Maida seventy two, my friend. Customers, uh, customers come first. You know, we have to be honest here. <coughs> All right. لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو المسيح ابن مريم. Hold on, hold on. You are the one who asked me to show you this one, right? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, this is horrible. This is horrible. Let us go there. This this guy, I think he's a Jew. He is working against his prophet. <laughs> he's working for the Mossad. <laughs> uh, Abdul. Just to show you how smart the Muslims are by asking me to read this verse you just got your prophet busted okay what does that mean let us go chapter 5 verse number 17 Yusuf Ali they do blasphemy indeed those who say Allah is the Christ so what the Christian they say guys remember Allah is the Christ do you see it? Okay. Let us go to different Quran just to show you how stupid Muhammad again. Oof. Muhammad, he keep doing poo poo. It doesn't matter how many times you say to him, Muhammad, don't do it here. لَقَدْ قَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَارِثُ ثَلَاثَ They commit blasphemy, those who say Allah is the third of the three. Do you see it? <clears throat> who is the first? Who is the second? Who is the third? If you just gave me a verse saying that the Christian, they say Allah is the Christ. So where is the Trinity? Where is the three? Are you there, Abdul? Who is the stupid here? One verse saying that the Christian they say Allah is the Christ. 
and one verse saying that the Christ is the second. So which one is the correct one? I'm reading. It's in the front of us. Guys, am I reading or not? You are the one who asked me to show it. I'm showing it. One verse, the, word, the verse you gave me saying that the Messiah is Allah. Is Allah. Here, it says, in the other verse, it says, that the Christians believe in the Trinity. They don't believe that the Messiah is Allah. They believe in Allah, the Messiah, and in Mary. First of all, we don't believe in Mary as a part of the Trinity. This is a lie. Secondly, how the Quran says Allah is the Allah is the Christ. The Christian they say that. So what the Trinity here is about? Can you answer? <clears throat> Guys, do you see in the front of you? This is the Muslim translation. It says Allah is one of the three. Correct? Okay, name for me the three. Allah is one of the three. Other verse saying Allah is the Christ. So which one of them is correct? I'm not trying from 72. I'm showing 72. It's in the front of you, Abdul. This is 72. Isn't it? This is the same chapter, Abdul. I'm just showing you in two pages. You see how stupid you are? The same chapter. This is 72 and this is 73. What's wrong with you? How in the same line it says Allah is the Christ and then the verse after it says Allah is one of three he's one of three or Allah is the Christ because it can't be both are you there are you calling a friend and you are the one who asked me to read it right and you were posting you're afraid you're afraid you're... okay let's see who is afraid He's calling a friend right now. Call a friend. Call your girlfriend. Call the wives of Muhammad. Call Aisha. Call Khadija. Because you guys, you say Jesus is God. He is the Messiah. Okay, thank you very much. But the Christians, as you see here in the Quran, they believe in Allah is one of the three. If you say that they believe that Allah is the Christ, it means there's no three. You see, <clears throat> my friend, we Christians believe that Jesus is the Word of God who came to us in the flesh. So he came to us as a man. As simple as that. So the Trinity for us present God, how he presents himself to us. Your Quran is giving us wrong idea about the Trinity. Different verse in the Quran saying that Allah he asked Jesus if he asked him he asked him if you are the what who said to your followers to worship you and your mother. So what is the Trinity in Islam? Jesus and Mary and Allah. But verse number 72 it says the Christ is Allah. But the Muslims confirm to us that the Christian believe in three gods. If the Christian believe that Christ is Allah, then there's no three gods. That's when you Muslims are lying about our belief. So which one is correct? Why we are kuffar if we say that Christ is God and he is Allah, let us say. I don't believe in Allah anyway, but let us say for the sake of argument. That's mean we believe in one God. So why the verse saying we are committing blasphemy against God? Is that because we say Christ is God or because we are believing in three gods? Right? 
Can I have dual? Same time, same time. How you call him a Christ, you idiot, and you say he is not God. Do you know what Christ means? Anyone knows what Christ means? You just confirmed that he's God. The second you call Yeshua, or as we call him in Arabic, Yeshua, as all the Muslims they call him Isa. I don't know what this word is coming from. The second you call him the Christ, you just confirm that he's God. How you call him Christ? Any Muslim can tell me how you call him Christ? You just gave him a title of God. What Christ mean? Any Abdul? <clears throat> you see here, Abdul is saying to you, Jesus said, my God and your God. So God have a God. Here we go. Let me show you the answer from the Quran. <clears throat> okay. What? Who? What? Who? Translation. Yusuf Ali. It is he. Who has created for you all things? <laughs> Who is the one saying it is he here? Any Muslim can tell us? Is that Jesus saying, My God and your God? Is Allah saying it is he, your God and my God? If Allah is talking, who is it is he? Any Muslim can tell us? It is he who? Who is talking and who is saying it is he? Ah, this is, must be Jesus saying it is he. <laughs> uh, no, I cannot read. I'm a little like your prophet. Do you have a problem with that? And look who's talking. A guy who believe a prophet became a prophet, but yet he cannot write his name. If you write the name of Muhammad and the word donkey in front of Muhammad and we say to him, which one is your name? Muhammad, you will have no idea. He might pick up the donkey. No, I do not know how to read. The other than how to read. So who is it? Is he? Who is talking there? Is that a mistake in the Quran? And I can show it to you over the Quran all over. <clears throat> you wanna debate me, anyone? I'm weak. Trust me. You can. You can beat me easy. I mean, we we don't know what to say to you. We are. We, we, we are we are hiding I have no idea what to say to you hmm? any any Muslim can tell me what this is word mean how how, how Allah he say that anyone anyone knows what does that mean Allah he will create someone to inherit the earth why who who was living in the earth Who was living in the earth? If I tell you the story behind this, you would die from laughing. Anyone knows the story behind this? Why Allah will create something in the, you know? This is a story by itself. <clears throat> Surah 46. What is that verse name? What sort of 46? What is that first name? Is that English? I'm so glad you did not ask me about the names of the versions that will sleep with me in the heaven. 80,000, man. All of them, their name is Hur. Guys, <clears throat> just to tell you about the Hur, just for entertainment. You know, I'm very good in art, right? By the way, I, I was invited. This is a true story. It come, you can find it in Sahir Bukhari by Putin. To be to draw him because I'm very good in art. Listen, in the heaven there is women. Oh boy, look at this! Wow, this is a woman. Look at those eyes. She looked like a witch. Oh boy. 
Man, look at those lips. She's upset now. Allah in the heaven will give us women like this. Very sexy. Very, very super sexy. All of them, they have one face. All of them, they have one name. All of them, they have one age. All of them, they have one height. All of them, they have one color, which you can see through, which means jellyfish. Unbelievable. How beautiful that is. Abdul, what the point of having 80,000 female? All of them, they look the same. Any Muslim can tell me? What do you mean, so what? If I sleep with one of them, I sleep with the rest because all of them, there is this, they have the same voice, the same name, the same height, the same color, the same clothes. Which means all of them, they are twins. <laughs> what do you mean, so what? <laughs> so what the point of 80,000? One is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did you see what he said? So what? What do you mean? So what? Eighty thousand women, all of them, they look the same. All of them. I mean, why Allah is out of collection? Why all of them they look the same? All of them they sing the same song. Guys, all of them they sing the same exact song for eternity. It's like a Barbie, you know. You had the bum. I name my name is Barbie. I name the Rabbi. Aziz of Ruda Dido, the kid of Narabi. The cabri the manin, the battery is empty. Please replace me before it's empty. Thank you. This is God? And this is heaven? Isn't it enough to have one woman instead of 80,000? Because what, why I want to let her go and the other one come if she look exactly the same? She have the same name, the same voice, the same hair, the same skin, the same eyes, the same... Everything is the same. So what's the point? Do you see, guys, when I say Islam is made for madness, made by a stupid person? Same guy. And all Muslim men, anyone knows how the Muslim men, they will look in the heaven. Anyone knows? According to Muhammad, not according to me. Anyone knows? Yeah, Phil, I'm sure he knows because this guy became expert. Anyone knows how the Muslim they will look in the heaven? So all women they look the same. Those who the virgin, by the way, the virgin. Not all the Muslim women. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Muslim women, they will be each one of them seventy times more pretty. But imagine how stupid that is. Because if hold on, let me let me look for pictures. Hold on, hold on. I will look for pictures to explain to you. <clears throat> All right. I suppose I said good night, guys. I'm going to go. It's already almost 4 a.m. in the morning. I eat you guys. I eat you. May Allah make you look like Christian Prince. You see, I'm cursing you now. May Allah make you stupid like Christian Prince. All right, I wish I was stupid. At least I will be able to sleep normally like everybody. Uh, all right, let us see here. Okay. I'm looking for uh, pictures have three women in it. We want the three women at least. Where, 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 where? Okay, here we go. We found the three women, finally. Okay, but I don't know this. I don't know. I don't like this picture. Hold on. It's not clear. Look like this guy did not clean his lenses before he took the picture. It's hard to find three women in the same time in one image. 
okay let us use this picture here <clears throat> those ladies here with our respect for the ladies in the picture we are just using this as a method to explain so imagine imagine those three ladies god forbid they are muslims and allah now promised them to go to heaven according to muhammad allah will make each one of them 70 times more pretty i don't know which one of them for you is more pretty from the rest but i will take them from the left to the right as an example so let us say that the lady in the left of the screen is the most beautiful one so this is lady number one uh, we need to change the color so we can let us make it yellow okay all right so the lady number one is the most beautiful number two is the second beautiful number three is the third beautiful which means number one is the most beautiful the one if they're after that etc now Allah he promised that a Muslim woman she will be 70 times more pretty so now the first one the first one is a twice more beauty than the second one let us say for the sake of argument so this one is a twice number one what does that mean uh, you know what to make it easier to make it easier let us switch let us switch the numbers let us say that the one in the right is a three time more pretty from the first one and the, the second one is twice more pretty from the first one just to make it easy with and whether want to switch the numbers so here if you look with me let us take this uh, banner down so you guys you can see all right sorry I didn't see the numbers all right <clears throat> all right now it's better right let us start from the beginning hold on hold on so I will I will do correction if we say that this lady in the left is a three time is the most beautiful so she is a three time more beauty than the first one the second one is twice more pretty from the first one the third one she is not pretty from anyone I'm not making by the way I'm not speaking about the beauty I'm just giving an example now if Allah will make each one of them 70 times more pretty so this woman already is a three times more beautiful than the first one three times so that's mean what three x 70 all right that will make it what 210 Is that correct? Okay. The second one is going to be 2x70. Two 2x70. X70. What is the total? 140. 140 times more pretty. Okay, the last one is one x seventy x seventy total is seventy. So nothing changed. The first one was a three time, you know, more pretty in earth from the second from the first one and she is a three time more pretty than the first first one in the heaven too the second one she was twice more pretty than the first one and now she is still twice more than more, more pretty than the first one and the first one 
still she is the same nothing changed she is yes more 70 times more pretty but compared to her friends she is the lowest between them so what the change happened are you getting my point this is the most stupid religion what the point of this now we go to the men <clears throat> nothing changed at all we go to the men according to Muhammad all men in heaven they will look look like one guy what his name <clears throat> who remember what the name of this guy this guy his name is Yusuf so all of them they will look like Yusuf how are you doing Yusuf I'm fine we will look like your brother wonderful Yusuf, which means Joseph, is the most handsome guy ever in history. Nobody is better looking than Yusuf. I mean, what I can say, I mean, it's not even Christian Prince. You believe it? Even Christian Prince is not even close. So listen carefully. All the Muslims in the heaven they will look like this guy Yusuf. Let us draw Yusuf. This is Yusuf. He have a long hair. He have uh, what his name? Uh, the guy with uh, the American singer. What his name? The one who died. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. I don't know what his name. Sylvester. Well, I don't know his name. I don't. I'm very good. I'm very good in names. What's his name? Help me, guys. Help me. I forgot. <clears throat> Elvis. Elvis. Yeah, Elvis. Look, those are the lips of Elvis. Look, he's singing now. He's singing. All right. This is Elvis. All right. <laughs> he looked like my grandmother, brother, <laughs> when she used to work as a witch. <laughs> anyway, so this is Mr. Elvis. Okay. This is his eyebrows, eyebrows. Everybody in the heaven of Allah will look like Joseph. And they will have the age of Jesus, which is 33. I mean, what the heck of this you know, you heaven? So let us say, let us say, there is a dating website in the heaven of Allah. Everybody in the heaven of Allah, his name is Yusuf. All the men. And they have the face of Yusuf and they have the age of Jesus 33 all the women the whore they have one name whore they have the same face the same height the same eye color the same hair color so if we make a dating profile in the heaven of Allah what we will find my name is Yusuf I my age is 33 I'm 66 foot tall and I speak Arabic. Okay, next guy. Uh, my name is Yusuf. I am 33 years old and I look like Yusuf. This is my profile and I am 60 foot tall. Okay. Okay, this is a third guy. Uh, my name is Yusuf and I look like Joseph and I am six foot tall and I am 33 years old. Next guy. I mean, what the, what the heck? This is heaven? Everybody look the same and everybody is white. The women are extremely white to the point you can see through their bones. I mean, I want to see that. Actually, I applied to work in the airport in the x-ray machine, but they did not accept me <laughs> because I'm an Arab. <laughs> they said, no, no, not good for security. Unbelievable. Discrimination. You see through their bones? I mean, this is alone is zigzag. I wanted always to marry a jellyfish. This is heaven of the stupid ones. This is heaven of the stupid ones. There is no way a human being he have a little brain will accept such a garbage. All of us we wear a green, brother. All of us we are wearing green. I mean the whole, the most what. The whole, everybody's wearing green. Why? Are we in the surgery room? 
What's happening? Everybody uniform green. Everybody. You will look like uh, the the you know what what they call them those uh, insect they eat leaves. <laughs> green leaves. Uh, <coughs> I don't know what to say. I'm told. If this is if this is God and this is Islam, I mean, I, I prefer to be an atheist one billion time and not to be a Muslim for a second. You know, you don't want to believe in Christianity, you don't believe, no problem. You don't want to believe in Hindu, Jew, but, no. but to be a Muslim, you must be, you must be really suffering from mental issue. And not only that, before you enter the heaven, there is two angels waiting for you in the gate, and they give you two drink. Anyone remember what the drinks do? Who remember? Anyone remember? You drink the first drink, you have diarrhea. Look, what the heck? I'm going to heaven, I will have diarrhea. <laughs> oh boy. I don't want to remember that that uh, that again. I mean, that, that guy, let me go to the bedroom. Right away you drink the first drink, you have diarrhea. Yes, brother, because Allah will clean you from shit. Shit is not allowed in heaven. <laughs> Shit, hate, brother Allah will make diarrhea. Hate will go in diarrhea too. Really? Okay. Look like hate is like shit too. <laughs> and then the second drink. Anyone remember what the drink, the second drink do? <coughs> Anyone remember what the second drink does? Who remember? Come on. If you don't remember, Allah will be upset and he will curse you. And if Allah curse you, I know a person honestly. Allah, He cursed him. He, fought, he he woke up in the morning. He found himself look like Christian prince. I'm telling you, this is a true story. Imagine how disgusting that is. So what? Uh, what a drink! Come on, remember before Allah curse you. What the drink would do when you drink it? The second drink you drink, Allah will make you very white. Ooh. And you will turn in the height of Prophet Adam, 60 cubit. You will be in the age of Jesus, and you will have the face of Joseph. We just told you, forgot how they will get all of them of the same look because of that drink. <laughs> it's a magical drink, the same drink Alice in the Wonderland. She took it. You remember the movie? <laughs> So you drink this drink right away. You will turn to be thirty-three years and old, in age, and you will be in the height of Adam. What is the height of Adam? Any Muslim can remind us. What is the height of a prophet Adam, brother? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Anyone knows? If if you know if you have like uh, um, it depends in the area you live in. Uh, by meter, Adam will be about like thirty meters and sixty arms. Hmm? I mean, isn't it amazing? All my life, I wanted to be. I'm very short. Always I have delivery, UBS come, he knock at the door, I open the door, he don't see me, he go. Hey, I'm here, hello. So you cannot believe how much I'm waiting for that day. I want to be 60 arm tall. Finally, I found the solution. I convert to Islam, I drink that drink, Allah will make me 30 meter tall. Immediately, I mean, in the in the blink of an eye. I mean, isn't it isn't it beautiful? Let, let me show you the hadith. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. See, Do you see it. The Prophet of Allah saying, "Allah, the exalted, the glorious, he created Adam in His image with the length of sixty cubit." I mean, what happened, man? Why we shrink? 60 cubit? Only? 
I'm very disappointed. What's sixty feet? Sixty cubit. How 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 many how how many centimeter the arm is? Actually, that will be more. What thirty meter? That is uh, the arm. I think. Uh, I need to find out what the arm is because this is about 60 arms but anyway anyway we will be very tall and finally I will find a woman to marry me each time I ask a woman to marry me she say you are to me you are very short and because of that I'm until now uh, very uh, you know uh, single just wait I will go and get a drink, the seven Pepsi Cola, seven eleven, and I will come back to you, and I will be sixty uh, cubit tall. <laughs> I will not even talk to women. I will not accept to talk to them. I mean, <laughs> look at them; they are so down. What do you say? You can search in uh, you can search in Google, and you will find the Muslims. They have. Uh, let me show you. <clears throat> I want to show you the grave of Adam, according to the Muslims, and the grave of Noah. Hold on, hold on. You will not believe it how small it is. So small. Uh, Guys, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Do you see how long the grave of Adam? And Muslims have his grave? Is really the Adam is there? If, 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 if. And look how long. Oh, man. Look, look, look. Look at this picture. Let us see if we can see, show the picture. Oh, this is a video. We don't want to play video. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> All of this is the grave of Adam, brother. I mean, don't you think it's a small somehow? Islamic port. Uh, okay, here we go. Guys, do you see? I mean, this is this is really small. Hey, Adam is here. Hey, Uncle Adam, Grandfather Adam, how are you doing? <laughs> and Abdul, they go there to visit the grave of Adam, brother. Yes, Adam, there, our grandfather. Yeah. If you open the grave, by the way, you will find how big his foot. <laughs> and the Muslims, they go there and they pray and they touch the grave, brother. You know, this is a scam, by the way. You know, anyone he make a... If you go and search grave of Adam, you will find like this, 2,000, 5,000 graves of Adam. Muslims have around the world, in Pakistan, in India in Sri Lanka, I mean everywhere. Look like Adam die everywhere. And all of them, they are very big grave. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ignoring you, you are a kid. Next time you come here, you bring your daddy. Any Muslim have anything to say? You will be 60 uh, meter uh, tall? Hmm. Anyway, anyway, guys, uh, we have enough for today. Uh, man, I wish I did not start my live broadcast because by now I should be done with maybe five, six pages of my book. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, one day more, no problem. One thing the Muslims they did inspire me with because you know when the muslims they challenge me and they say things to me 
they made me remember ideas to put and add in my books honestly they are inspiration you will not believe it how much they inspire me and I just I remember an idea based on this I should put in my book so I want to say thank you for the Muslims maybe you have you know maybe you ask me questions maybe you thought uh, you can waste my time but I never waste my time never for always we get rewarded you know um, almost every day when I open Facebook or etc places I see Muslims sending me emails text saying we left Islam and I used to be more excited about it before because it was not easy uh, to reach out to people especially you know uh, in the beginning uh, like Muslims they think that you hate them or maybe you are here to insult them uh, but you know because we have a huge number of videos all over YouTube so the number of those who they are leaving Islam is getting bigger and bigger and Christians they get and Muslims they are getting their answers there's many answers the Muslims are looking for answer for it or let's say questions and after watching the Muslims there is no way a Muslim he was here today he did not learn a lot about his religion I never have a live broadcast and I did not hear a Muslim saying by calling or saying in text I did not I, I, I never heard this before always and actually the questions they gave us today is a proof that they never heard this before when a Muslim he asks you a question and the purpose is to make fun of your Bible but the same story written in his book and it is really stupid there that's mean he never heard that before so I'm so glad you know that the Muslims are learning and the more they learn about their stupid cult the more they will leave Islam in the beginning they will say no you are wrong don't worry about that they will leave they try to resist it's very normal like imagine you are a person who born in such a cult your family you open the TV the prophet peace upon him the TV the radio you go to the bathroom even in the bathroom you will hear speeches about the prophet in the mosque next door they put big speakers and everybody can hear you can you cannot even go away you go to school the Quran is amazing the Quran the miracle of the Quran the Christians cannot answer our questions this is what they say to them and that help us more and is going to be more shocking for the Muslims when they hear for the first time how stupid Islam is they get aggressive they get angry they make a threat sometimes death a threat sometimes they wish they pray for you for 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 death but many of them of those who they hate you later they will be saying thank you The process of leaving Islam start from the second the Muslims start listening to what is written in his book, and start from the second he himself inside him he agreed this guy is just reading for me what is in my book. He might be saying to me in the text you are a liar, but he's not a blind he can see it in the in the screen. When I say to him, David, he have sex with ninety nine women. The purpose to have se to to make mujahideen to go and do a ISIS job. He cannot say this is a lie, and because he forgot to say, inshallah, Allah give him half a child. He can't say it's a lie. When I show him the prophet, he said the punishment of the grave is coming from urine. He can't say this guy is lying. The prophet saying shaitan he play with the anus of the Muslim when he go to the bathroom. Can he say he's lying? When we pray for Allah, Shaitan will fart. Shaitan he round himself around the penis of the man. If you don't say the name of Allah before you have sex, can he say I'm lying? Stories after stories after stories. It doesn't matter how much he tried to resist, but the overwhelming evidence of the cult of the scam of Muhammad is amazing is beyond 
anyone to handle this is why they will leave Islam sooner or later it's just a matter of time it is just a matter of time and a drop of water is more powerful than a gun if you don't believe me go and see what a drop of water did to a rock it make a hole in it and that hole is going to save your life Muslims and this is why you cannot answer and you have nothing to say you claim you worship one God I mean who cares if he is one God or two seriously you see in India there is six million God six million something like that okay sound like maybe weird but what if there is six million gods for real that will not change anything they are there if they are there they are there so if God is one or two or three or four if this is a true it's true guys are you getting my point do you understand what I'm saying it's not about how many it's about if it's true or not so if you worship one God but this God is fake it's the same as somebody worships six million gods, they are fake too. You ask the Muslim what Allah means, he do not know. You ask the Muslim, did Muhammad speak to Allah? No. Did Muhammad see Allah? No. He ever heard his voice? No. So well, what do you know? What who is Allah? They don't know. They don't know anything about Allah. Or what they know that there's a God, his name is Allah. That's it. And even the name they quote it wrong. The same as the rest of the names, like Isa and Amran and Abraham and etc. And there is many religions, they worship one God. But that will not make them better than anyone. There's there's people worship Satan. They believe he's the only God. So he's Satan. They believe he's Satan. He's their God. So does that mean they are monotheists? Yes, they are monotheists. The people who used to worship the Pharaoh, they believe he's God. He's their God. So they, it's a weird religion. They think they are better because they say we will worship one God, but you do not even know who's your God, and your God is very stupid. How you can be? How God can be stupid? How God can say that man have a sperm coming from his backbone? As according to my knowledge, and I have many degrees, a sperm come from the cell phone. Backbone? I mean, Allah could not find a better place. Make it the finger. I mean, make it the billy bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean this God is so good man the backbone the man he have a sperm coming from the backbone are you sure it's not from like the power bank battery like I mean Allah he never heard of something called testicle or something like that like come on make it closer or what about the women have a sperm coming from her upper side of her ribs? That's fantastic. And yet they believe he's God, but Allah is one God, man. I mean, he, he's, he, he's one of a stupid God. He's one or two who care, but he's just saying stupid things if he's true God. If he's a true God, if he's a true God, that's mean your God is taking too much hashish. One day he used to be God, but now he's high. At least when he made the Quran, maybe he was wrong. Right? And actually, this is the, the, the real reason behind I am staying single until now. Imagine you get married, your wife, she go to bed, she take off her clothes, she take off her bra, and then you find that her breasts are not a breast. They are breast testicles. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, Islam is fantastic religion. 
and obviously those Christians are very jealous we have to admit do we have any Muslim have anything to say before we go any Muslim have may they may they any Muslim have something to say Allah is speaking read guys read a gushing fluid that issued from between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women Oof. why I want to go to school why I want to go to school Allah he have it here read this verse you became a you became a, a, a doctor uh, for women here we go we know now where the sperm came from. since when women have a sperm Any Muslim have an idea? You know what I'm thinking that Muslim women they are different, maybe. Hmm, interesting. I always I thought about it. Maybe they are coming from different galaxy, like they are alien, maybe, or something. Hmm? I think this is if this is alone is enough to convert you to Islam. If Allah is not God and He is one God, not two, remember, there's not two, he's one. How he know this? Can you explain to me how Allah he knew? If he is not God, you Christians, uh, crazy Christians, how he knew this? Do you tell me? Hmm? And don't forget, Muhammad he explained how babies they are generated in the Quran. <laughs> If I read it for you, you will go crazy. It's science, pure science. Pure, pure science. God has God in John 20, 17. Why you don't read the verse after it and before it, Abdul? Okay, here we go. Uh, Mr. Mr. Knox. No, no, no. Why are you why are you doing why are you block him? Poor guy. You don't see the numbers? Why you don't see the numbers? Why is that? Hold on. No, the numbers are showing. The numbers are there. You see that when the Muslims, when the Muslims they speak about God have a God, right? Okay. The Bible from the beginning, from the first page to the last page, confirm one thing. That there is one God and God does not have a God as simple as that so how Jesus said my God and your God what the Muslims don't understand that we Christians believe that the Messiah is a man in the flesh in the same time he is the Word of God though Jesus the man he says nothing of my own I have nothing the man he have nothing the man is obedience to God. This is why Jesus, he called himself the son of man. But all of us, we knew that even the Muslims believe that Jesus is a son of no man. So how Jesus say he's son of man? That because he is in the flesh, he's a man. So we as a Christians, we don't believe in the man, God. We don't have God, he is a man. Our God is not. A man so who is the Christ the Christ the Word of God is what we follow not a man otherwise Jesus is just a man like the rest what differentiate between the man Jesus and the Christ is his ability what differentiate between God and me nothing actually except he is almighty powerful I am I have no power of myself that's it if I have the power of God I'm God if I can do what God can do I'm God so what the difference between Jesus the man and the rest of the men they are the same except he have the Word of God and the Spirit of God in that man and that what we are believing in 
the power of Jesus is not the power of the man is the power of the father the power of the spirit the power of the Word of God the man he can do nothing of his own this is what Jesus said so when Jesus speak about my father and your father he explained to them as a man me as a man and you as men you have no power and me myself I have no power except what my father gave to me but Jesus said that I am united with my father I am united with my father before the world was created how he was united with his father Jesus answered that in the Bible when Jesus said to the Jews that Abraham saw my day and he glorified me he said to him how Abraham saw your day and you are not even 50 years old what Jesus said before Abraham I am so his existence have nothing to do with the flesh of the man so the flesh of the man is not important we don't worship the man the existence of God have nothing to do with the existence of Jesus the man are you getting it Muslims for the Word of God is who is speaking to us you see even the Quran the Muslim they say that the Messiah is the Word of God which this down sent down descended down to Mary so where was Jesus before he became a man let's go to the Quran I read together <clears throat> Where was Jesus according to the Quran this is a question the Muslims cannot answer but the answer there in front of them in the screen read carefully with me and we explain this many times but you know some Muslims are slow so it doesn't hurt you see I'm not using even the gospel to show you how funny you Muslims are the Quran confirm in the same verse which denying the Trinity that Jesus present the Trinity read carefully all people of the book and the funny about the God of the Quran he keep calling us the people of the book but yet the Muslim they claim we have no book how you call us the people of the book when we don't have a book it's like saying the guy of the car who will have no car it's like saying the tall guy who is short it's like saying the fat guy who have no fat it's like saying the man of gold but he have no gold this is how stupid the Quran is those people if they are lost how you call them people of the book still you guys do you understand what I mean when I say you are the book of the you are the people of the law it's mean you have the law but if you don't have the law I cannot call you the people of the law <laughs> that's crazy so in the same verse which is trying to fight us is confirming that we are the people of the book you see the Quran never called the Muslims people of the book well this is stupid so we are people of the book Muslims are not the people of the book so what the Quran is are we listening guys why we are called the people of the book but Muslims never been called not even once the people of the book because they didn't have a book as simple as that then we continue. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was a messenger of Allah. So he was what? A messenger of Allah. Okay, that's good. And he is his word. Okay, was Muhammad a messenger and word of Allah? No. Was Abraham a messenger and word of Allah? No. Moses, no. Israel, no. Isaac, no. Ishmael, no. Only Jesus? Why is that? The Quran explained. 
Jesus is the Word of God which sent down to Mary do you see it so what Jesus was before he became a man and the messenger he was a word of God the Quran maker here he is still in chapter 1 verse number 1 and verse number 14 in the book of John Jesus was a word and the word was with God and the world sent down to who to marry the mankind and have a flesh and that is the flesh of the messenger Jesus do you see it and the same verse trying to convince us that there is no Trinity is the same verse is convincing us of the Trinity because now the Quran saying that Jesus is a tree is a man in the flesh is the word of God and his spirit because the verse continues saying and he is a spirit proceeding from him so he is not just a man he is a man and he is the word and he is a spirit proceeding ing from Allah so what we have now we have a Trinity in one the same stupid verse saying say no Trinity Is the same verse confirming the Trinity for us? Jesus, before he was sent down to Mary as a word, where he was, Muslims. The verse saying clearly that he was in heaven, which Allah he sent down to Mary. Okay. So what is the origin of Jesus? Heaven. Where is Jesus now? In heaven. Everybody die from dust to dust. Why is Jesus not in the dust? Any Muslim can explain to us? This is not assumption, my friend. This is what the Quran is saying. You Muslim believe that Jesus right now in heaven Muhammad is dust. So everyone from dust to dust except Jesus. Explain to us why. Any Muslim can tell us? And if we ask the Muslims, is the word of God is it created? They will say no. The word of God is not created. Is the Quran created? Actually, if a Muslim believe that the Quran is created, the Muslims they will slaughter him immediately. Go and read the history. Tens of thousands of Muslims have been slaughtered for believing the Quran is created. Ah, guys, look what Muhammad he said because he came as the Messiah. So, what is the Messiah? Did you see, guys? The, 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 the Jesus is a special. He is the Messiah, so he have to come from heaven. And this is why now he's in heaven. <laughs> so Jesus was as a word of God in heaven before he was a man. Okay, now what he's doing in heaven, he's a man or he's a word of God again? Jesus right now in heaven doing what exactly, Muslims? Can you tell me? What he's doing there? And why? And Jesus will come back. To do what? Any Muslim can tell us. Well, I want to know. I'm laughing because this is a stupid. You are saying to us that Jesus is just a prophet, but everybody die except him. You are saying to us Jesus is a prophet, but he's the only one who have no sin. Muhammad have sin. He is just a prophet, but he is the only one who don't die, and he will come back at the end of the time. And what he will do? He will be a Rambo. The Islamic Rambo. He will kill Shaitan. And he will kill the pig. Have you ever heard of a fight between God and pig? And what's wrong with this God? Pig is a stupid animal. God want to fight a pig? I mean, how stupid this God is to put his head in the head of a pig? It's a pig. What 
what kind of mission this mission is Jesus is coming down to get to fight the shaitan and the pig I understand that the shaitan but I don't understand the pig issue what the problem with Allah if there with the pig so imagine guys in the judgment day before judgment day Isa the Muslim he will come in the top of his horse and the other side there's a pig and Isa said to the pig are you ready you enemy of Allah the pig he says whoa, 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 whoa. He said are you ready prepare for your death Allahu Akbar takbir and then Jesus he lunch at the pig and the pig he lunch at Jesus and they start fighting like granite give me granite and the pig in the first round he get injured like oh, give me that he asked his wife to give me some uh, you know like a macaroni macaroni in a bondage you know and he's shooting at Jesus but Jesus is like you can't kill Jesus are you kidding me you cannot kill Jesus this is a Muslim Jesus you can kill the Christian Jesus but you cannot kill the Muslim Jesus <laughs> are you crazy or what the Jews they tried before <laughs> they try <laughs> you know so the piggy will be shooting at Jesus and Jesus like he's a bulletproof I mean what a stupid story in different hadith in different hadith Muhammad he said that when uh, when when the shaitan he see Jesus he will melt like salt mm. <clears throat> let's see if we can find it Let us try now. Read carefully with me. Actually, here in this prophecy is very stupid. You know, this this hadith again proving Muhammad to be false prophet because Muhammad he prophesy, he prophesy that an army from the city of Al Madina will attack. The Constantinia and will conquer it, but all of us we know that the army who conquered the Constantinia was the Turkish. <laughs> anyway, let it go, let it go. Uh, read with me carefully. <clears throat> then come, then come Jesus, the son of Mary, would descend. Okay, Jesus would descend. What will happen? He will descend. And when the enemy of Allah would see him, he would disappear just as the salt dissolve itself in water. Do you see it, guys? Isn't it? This is amazing. Muhammad he just witnessed that Jesus is God. Why shaitan will dissolve when he sees Jesus? How come how come shaitan did not dissolve when we saw Muhammad and gave him satanic verses? In front of Jesus, shaitan will dissolve like salt. In front of Muhammad, shaitan he jump over his shoulders and he make him like a monkey. Any Muslim can explain to us what's going on? Well, this will, what is power Jesus he have to the point shaitan? Do you know what? Do you know what the power of shaitan is? Satan is a very powerful person, according to your Quran at least. So why he will dissolve in the front of Jesus like salt?
wenn ihr Muslim? Yeah, this guy is a kid, just let him out. He keep repeating the same thing. We answer you about 72, you idiot. Let's get lost. When you say to me such a thing, that means Jesus cannot be any like any one of us, not like Muhammad, who Shaitan possessed him according to the hadith. Muhammad, according to the hadith, he was possessed by the devil, controlled by magic. Shaitan, even Quran confirmed that Shaitan gave him satanic verses. But when Shaitan he see Jesus, he melt like salt. Who is this Jesus? Who is this person who have no sin? He have no father. He is alive now. He can make the blind see without giving him medicine. He can make the dead man come to back to life without giving him medicine. He can make the disabled walk. He can heal anything, anyone. He can walk in water. He can feed thousands. He can forgive sin. And he, when Shaitan see him, he knelt like salt. I mean, Allah, Allah, he saw Shaitan. Shaitan was not melt like salt. Shaitan spoke to Allah and saw Allah. He did not melt like salt. Shaitan see Jesus. He melt like salt, according to the Quran, the Hadith of Muhammad, not me. Do you see it? I'm not making things up. So who is this? And when we ask the Muslims, why Jesus have no have no father? I mean, what the point? They will say to you that they will say to you what the Quran says. The Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is same as Adam. How? What is the similarity between Adam and Jesus? That is a stupid statement in the Quran, because there is no similarity between them. Adam is not born. Jesus is born. Adam is a creator from mud. Jesus is the word of God. <laughs> we just showed you the verse. Let me show you. In this verse here, there is tons of mistakes. I'm not sure how many of you will guess it right away. You see, uh, Muhammad, Guys, look what Muhammad said. He said, Adam was born without father. Are, are you, Muhammad, are you drunk? I don't want to use the word stupid because you might get upset. I don't want to make him upset, my friend. I consider you like a brother for me. Adam is not born, my friend. Wake up, uh, Muhammad. Adam is born? Born from who? Do you know what born mean? Your Quran confirmed that Adam was created from mud. Allah, he made him by his hand. He put water and dust together. Then he made a clay. And then he fashioned the clay as a man. And then after he fashioned the man as a clay, he breathed into him. So what do you mean he's born? Yeah, 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 Sayyid uh, Dab. Yeah, she knew that. أي دولة عربية يعني شنو هذا الموضوع هذا هذا هل هذا مهم يا رجل يا رعاك الله اجلس اجلس look what the Quran says and that will prove to us that Muhammad have no idea what he's talking about he said that the similarity of Jesus before Allah as Adam he created him from dust <laughs> Adam was created from dust Jesus was created from dust are you sure so what chapter 4 verse 171 speaking of that Allah he sent them down as a word of God what dust 
in what process the Jesus was a dust how same time look what the Quran says then he said to him be and he was and this is my challenge to the Muslims did Allah say to Adam be and he was my friend is not a problem but there is a reason you see Muhammad when somebody says to me that Jesus have no father I need to know why I understand Adam is the first man so it's normal okay so now we have one person he is created from dust and then the women created and after that the Quran says in chapter 25 verse number 50 uh, 52 what you know who we made after that every human being from sexual relationship by relationship it's the Quran saying that so the first one is Adam and Eve from dust what well, Adam was from dust even Eve is not so according to your Islam not according to me and then after that nobody is created from dust nobody nobody you see metaphorically yes we say we can we are from dust to dust yes but the real one who created from dust is Adam after that is a reproduction God gave Adam and Eve the ability to reproduce as simple as that so God he produced Adam for us and our mother Eve after that everybody is a reproduction so how Jesus is from dust secondly Allah never said to Adam be and he was that's a lie all the verses of the Quran and I can show it to you one by one including the hadith Adam was created so slow to the point Adam himself he said to Allah finish me before the sunset the Quran says what 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 does that mean Adam was in rush Adam, he told Allah, finish me before the sunset, chapter 17, verse number 11. Finish me before the sunset. Why? Because Allah was so slow. So Allah did not create Adam by saying to him, be and he was created. That's a lie. That's an error in the best scenario. Do you know Arabic, uh, Muhammad? I forgot if you know Arabic. You can read the interpretation for this in Arabic and you will see how Adam, he asked Allah, actually we can show it to you in the Hadith, hold on. You can search it in Google. Do you see it? Allah created Adam Friday afternoon and the night. <laughs> oh boy. And then if you read the story, the rest of the story, there's many hadith. You will see that Adam he's, he say, Adam, guys, when Allah he was created, Adam. If you if I read for you the story, maybe next time I know I remind me, I can show it. Adam, when Allah he was creating him, uh, he breathed into him. So Adam he sneezed at you. So Allah said to him, Bless you. Allah said to him, Bless you. And Adam he said, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and then Adam, after Allah he breathed into him, he wanted to, he looked at his limbs, he looked at his feet, he tried to move them, but they are not moving correctly. So he looked up to Allah and he said to Allah, Please, Allah, finish me before the sunset. Is that correct or I'm lying, Muslims? I challenge any Muslim to say to me this is a lie. Challenge. Finish me before the sunset. How Adam knows that there is a sunset? This guy is just is, is not even created yet. He is in the process. How he knew that the sun is going to set? What what the, what the name of this uh, actor? Like uh, this guy, the the funny, uh, the the terrorist. The dead terrorist, what's his name?
I forgot uh, I forgot his name, the funny one. Uh, yeah, Ahmad, Ahmad, the dead terrorist. This is Ahmad, the dead terrorist. He look at his limbs down. His limbs is moving. He's dead. But I'm dead. But I'm alive. No. Adam saying to Allah, finish me before the sunset. Let me see if I can find the hate in English. Hold on. All this typing, I was typing in Arabic. You believe it? I'm searching, trying to find it in English. <laughs> oh, okay. Let us see. Mm. Mm, trying to find no I will find it for you in English uh, I'm sure I saw it before in English somewhere <coughs> maybe we can go 17 11 Ibn Kathir anyway like it's getting late now maybe next time remind the guys next time to show it to you all right you are not banned yet you will be banned Jay just wait for it it's coming <laughs> but it's fun by the way when when they ban you from Twitter and YouTube actually this is make it more fun because like you feel like excited again oh yeah I'm doing it yeah don't don't let them make you frustrated my friend it is it is a good sign you see if people they keep if the Muslims keep saying to me God bless you I will be upset because that's mean I'm not doing my job because a, a person following the wrong belief saying to me God bless you obviously there's something wrong with me you know what I mean like lately I'm not really happy I'm not receiving death threat as before I mean what's wrong look like I'm not doing a good job these days I feel frustrated I mean seriously should I see that should I call Allah <laughs> why nobody is saying to me I want to kill you no more I mean what's happening for the last three days I did not receive any death threat that's not nice not even normal something fishy there I don't like that but I have to admit the Muslim they keep saying to me why you don't saw your face <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't show your face, my friend? What if my face is ugly? What do you want my, from my face? Leave my face alone. Don't you see? Until now, I am single. I can. Did you ask yourself why this guy? Why this guy is not showing his face? Do you think I'm scared of you? Obviously, I don't want to scare the hell of you. If I open my camera right now, or I, I will not have anyone listening. They will go. They will turn off their screen. They will go hide under the bed. People, they will not even let their babies look at the screen because they were afraid that they will might uh, like have a, a gray hair. Or a, I mean, come on, why you wanna? Why, why you why you don't saw your face? Hmm? I challenge you, show them you saw your face. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> show me your face. Show me your face. I want to see your face. If you are a man, show me your face. <laughs> Abdul, did you see the face of Allah? <laughs> Did you see the face of your prophet? You, you will believe in me only if you. I, I'm not a prophet. Why you want to see my face? What the problem? What's the problem? But you know, this is what the Muslims do. If you don't speak Arabic, they say to you, go and learn Arabic. Okay. Now Arabic is my first language. 
they said to me, okay, go and learn English. <laughs> Your English is funny. <laughs> what do you mean Allah is not a human? Okay. Guys, Muhammad, he said Allah is not a human. If Allah is not a human, how Allah, he say this? Listen, listen carefully. How Allah told Muhammad this? Allah is not a human, right? Okay. Then how Muhammad, he said such a thing? Be careful with me. The Prophet S A W S. This is a brand, by the way, very famous brand. I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, and I am afraid that you might understand, not understand. The Antichrist is short and haunted, woolly haired, one eyed, uh, eye sightless, and neither a protruding and nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, you should know your Lord is not one eyed. <laughs> How Allah is not a man and Muhammad is worried that the Muslim will be confused between him and the man and what he's talking about the look and the eye so the, the only difference between Allah as a look your Lord and this man the Antichrist is the right eye so how Allah is not a man but the only difference between them is the right eye can you tell me <laughs> That's me. Allah have two eyes. I thought Allah is a frog or you know or a fly. He have like a thousand eye. Allah have two eyes. He's not a human, but he have two eyes. Okay, and he is not. Uh, he's deep seated. Allah is deep seated. This is disappointed or disappointing. I thought like he would look a little bit different. How he can wear jeans with deep seated? Uh, well, they have big size anyway. <laughs> Why you will be confused between him and someone is deep seated if he is unlike a human so why he is saying you will be confused between him and the man who is the antichrist you see your prophet your prophet here is saying there is only one difference between them your lord is not one eye but the other guy is a human so why you will be confused between them explain to us Allah isn't a human anyway. I mean, there's no need to compare. Correct, guys? If Allah isn't a human, why we would be confused about a guy who looked like a human and Allah? Explain to us. This is stupid. There's no point of this. If your God looked like a spider, and then you say to me, if you are confused between the spider and the human being, well, you need to know that my, Allah, the spider, is not uh, one-eyed. <laughs> <coughs> my friend it's in the front of you your prophet just you know confirm that Allah is the Messiah because here Muhammad should say the Antichrist looked like this but the true Christ looked like that why because according to Islam they don't believe really in the Antichrist as much they believe in something called the Dajjal who is the Dajjal the Dajjal is someone he claimed that he is the true Christ so the compare here should be between the true Christ and the true on the false Christ, correct, guys? So, Muhammad here is saying that the true Christ is Allah, otherwise, there's no point of compare. This guy is not coming to say he is Allah, he's coming to say, I am a Christ. This is why in Arabic is called Al Masih al Dajjal, which means the false Messiah. So, he will come and he will say, I am the false Messiah, he will not claim to be Allah. So if your prophet want to compare, he should say, okay, the false messiah look like this, the true messiah look like that. That would make sense. But as you see, your God is the one who is compared with the man. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> I hope you have a good time. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And if you already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because I have I made a deal with YouTube. If I get a lot of unsubscribe and subscribe a day, they will double my, uh, you know, like uh, the wages I get from the Mossad agencies. The Muslim, they accuse me to work for the Mossad. I mean, where is the money of the Mossad, man? Unbelievable. Anyway, if you already subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe because if you subscribe again, Allah will give you double blessing. I mean, this is Islam. Islam, believe in that, by the way. Muhammad told them, 
that if you make a good deed, Allah will erase the bad deeds. So let us do it. You subscribe and subscribe, subscribe and subscribe. <laughs> what a stupid religion. So I go Arab women and then I make a donation in the mosque. And that Allah will erase my bad deeds. I mean, what a cult. Good, good deed will erase the bad deeds. Are you sure? And then if you own a dog, Allah will take all your deeds from your account. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All right. It is already five o'clock. I better make some tea and go back to work in my book. Five in the morning. I mean, you guys, are you crazy to stay with a Christian prince until five a.m. in the morning? What's wrong with you? Speaking about this idiot Muhammad, what's wrong with you? Ah, أنت من أنت من أهل صلح الفضول يا رجل وتسألني من أي دولة أنا أنا الذي نظر الأعمى إلى أدبي ولم يرى شيئا لأنه كان أعمى. Play my video. No, I can't play your video. You can post it here if you want. Uh, this guy he made a video uh, it's called the Christian Prince song I don't know if you saw it later after you finish you can post your name they click at your account and they can go and uh... thank you thank you King we are always all all of us we are students my friend there is no you know knowledge is English and the one he think he know it all he is a fool you know you learn every day and you know you better maintain reading and learning uh, god is good and god he gave us uh, gifts you know I, i'm i'm really thankful for my lord for everything i have i have healthy body healthy healthy eyes um uh, he gave me the brain i need and uh, he gave me a shelter he gave me a roof he he provided me with my bread God is beautiful and amazing, and He gave me a lot of people who loves loves me. Even the one who hate me, sooner or later they will, they will, they will love me too. So God is good, you know, and all the glory to Him for what we have. But the most important thing is to remember that it doesn't matter how much you learn; still, you know nothing, absolutely nothing. But there is a huge difference between someone. Let us say he's trying to earn little of knowledge and someone trying to earn nothing of knowledge. Our Lord, the Messiah, he encouraged us. He said, read the books, search them. Not like Muhammad in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 101 says, ask not questions. The Messiah, he wants you to ask questions. Actually, he used to go and talk to the Jews. He is the one who is asking for a debate. Not like Muhammad, when they came to him to debate him, he said, okay, Allah told me, if they come to debate with you, to dispute with you, tell them, bring your wives, I bring my wives, bring your children, I bring my children, and bring yourself, I bring myself, and let us invoke Allah to curse the one is lying. What a stupid answer. For you have no knowledge. It's just a scam. So you are following the truth. This is what Jesus said, and he is. I am the truth. I am the Alpha, alpha and the Omega. And the Alpha and the Omega is about knowledge too. The one who worship a God without knowing him is a fool. We know our God. And we know his ethic and we know his teaching. And he came and he was between us. And this is the whole point of Jesus coming to earth. He is not coming for tourism. Islam prov you know, provide us a story about Jesus the tourist. Jesus the tourist, when the risk came, he asked somebody to die for him and he ran. Jesus the coward, that's what they have. When the risk came, he asked one of his disciples, who want to die for me so I can run away? Stupid story. That's a disgusting story, actually. Imagine, imagine you have a history book, and this history book speaking about a leader. And this leader asked his followers or lower ranks people to say, who will die for me so I can run? I mean, isn't this is disgusting? Do you respect a guy like this? You know what I mean, guys? The same as Muhammad he did. The Muslim they say Muhammad he asked Ali to sleep in his bed so he can run. So the Arab they will get inside his room and kill Ali instead of him. That is a cowardly behavior. The brave is the one who buy, die for the rest, not the one who asks the rest to die for him.
we don't belong to such a coward person and knowledge is a must for you if you are a Christian so I encourage every Christian when the Muslims they ask you a question go and read the Bible that's a good thing that's a good thing because the Bible they encourage you the Muslim they encourage you to read your book a book maybe you are not reading lately or maybe some of you never even touch it I have no problem with Muslims making accusation against the Bible because that will make me a better believer I go check it out and I found that they are wrong I never found one Muslim saying something truthful about the Bible never otherwise they will be succeed to let me go astray from it the Muslims only they succeed with people who have no knowledge they have no knowledge about Islam no knowledge about the Bible so they can fool them but the person who you know he armed himself with knowledge what the Bible says he said my people they've been destroyed because of their ignorance ignorance my friend is number one enemy to a human being why millions of people die because of cancer because simply because of ignorance time will come and that the, the medicine of the cancer maybe will cost you one dollar trust me you will see the same as before people they used to die by flu by millions millions and now the flu is something you can buy it from the pharmacy for a dollar hmm. nobody died from the flu ignorance ignorance is the only enemy to a human being and islam is the books of ignorance fictions fairy tales sexuality fantasy hatred violence it is the book of the devil islam is the las vegas but the ugly version of it you see las vegas have two faces have the face of lights casinos you go inside the hotel amazing beautiful some hotels they cost billions of dollars not hundreds of millions billions imagine but inside those hotels people they lose their life inside those hotels people they go bankrupt people have heart attack People lose their mind. People they shoot themselves. Las Vegas have two faces, and that is Islam. Islam try to show you the light of Las Vegas, the versions. You go to heaven, you eat shish kebab, hummus, falafel, sitting in a couch all day. Eighty thousand women naked. They have no panty. You know, jumping over you. You are the only man. And after you have sex with them, they will say to you, You are the best in I don't want to say the dirty word. Go and read my books. Go get the sex of Allah book and read and laugh. Laugh and how disgusting it is. Islam is exactly Las Vegas. And the Muslim try to present it to us with the light in only not with the darkness but the darkness of Las Vegas is more than the light of Las Vegas those hotels are built because people they are losing their blood there a lot of a blood go and see the stories of how many people they lose their everything everything they made in their life People life destroyed, people get divorced, they lose their children, they lose their family, they lose everything. But this is not the image of what they show you in TV. Prostitution, AIDS, uh, uh, you know, everything ugly you can imagine. But always, somebody try to show you a shiny image. Islam is like a grave from outside is covered by marble but inside it is dark there's no light Christianity is totally the opposite there's no inside and outside Christ he said 
when you pray you pray alone there's no outside prayer so you you know receive a glory of your own because people they see you when you pray go to your closet so there's no outside and inside everything is in your heart you are you are inside the same as outside when you fast you don't go and speak about it Islam is the opposite when they fast they have to tell everybody a Muslim need to pray he have to tell the whole neighbor he have to go in the balcony and pray because he need to want he want to be sure that all the neighbors are seeing him he is the man of God and this is what Jesus said don't be like the, the hypocrite who go and pray in the corners so everybody can see them this is what the Muslims do they pray in the corners they pray in the corner of the street they put up they, they put a carpet in the top of the taxi and they pray in the top of the taxi why are you a goat but because it's a hypocrisy religion Islam is a tradition not a faith Islam is about worshiping a man not a God you know you you say the F word to Allah nobody kill you in the Middle East you say the F word to Muhammad they will chop your head in a second according to Sharia law actually if you say insult to the Prophet you will be killed even if you repent if you say an insult to Allah they give you three days to repent three days to repent and they will you go free as if you not did nothing but if you insult the prophet that's it you are dead so who's God Islam is just a collection of uh, rituals taken from from the some from the Sabi and some from the Hindus like the black stone some from from the uh, moon worshipper the star the, the sun worshipper from al maqa from uh, from yemen it's a collection of things and then muhammad he met with some um, a, a, a christian cult they called themselves nasara so he learned from the nasara something he lived with the jews he learned from the jews something he lived with the persian like salman al farisi he learned from the persian something so in his religion it's a collection it's like a snowball but dirty one Whatever it's in its way, it's grab it, take it. Christians take them, Jews take them, Nasara is uh, the, the Sabia take them. That's why the Quran says, if you go and remember, Muhammad he promised almost everybody, even those who worship the stars, to go to heaven. And the Muslims cannot explain why. إن الذين آمنوا والذين هادوا والنصارى والصابئين من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر etc. those are what they are going to go to heaven read it even Sabians go and search for the Sabian search for the Sabian help the Sabian they will go to heaven <laughs> you see the Muslim they claim that we were the three religion have one source it's Allah Christianity Judaism and Islam that's false because Muhammad is saying here the Sabian, the Sabian, they don't worship the same God as the Christian God. Actually, the Sabian, they call Adonai the enemy, the devil. If you have my book, you will read there. If you have the deception of Allah, you will see how the Sabian. Actually, I think I wrote this not in the sun, the deception of Allah. I think this is in the root of the Quran. This is the new book I'm working in. So the, the Sabian, uh you know they call Adonai the devil of the Jews. How does so? How the Sabian and the Jews they will go to the same heaven if they if if they are enemies? The Sabian they consider the Jews the God is their enemy for a very simple reason. Anyone know why? What is the reason? Just uh, just to bring them here to debate with me, my friend, those Sudani Muslims. Anyone why, know why the Sabians they hate the Jews? Sure, I know Osama Dakdok. Osama Dakdok is my older friend of mine. We made many radio show together. Why why the Sabian they hate the Jews? Okay, one more thing before we go, just to, learn, to teach you something new. The Sabi and they hate the Jews. Remember the story of the Pharaoh? 
the army of the Pharaoh is destroyed, correct? The Sabian is one of the oldest religions in the Middle East. And according to the Sabian history, the Pharaoh himself was a Sabian. You see? All this area was a Sabian. Even Muhammad he was called a Sabian. Sabian was a very like was number one religion in the world at that time. Or let us say in the in the Middle Middle East world. All the way from Iraq, all the way to Egypt is Sabian. For sure, except the Jews. So uh, uh, when the when 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 Moses he crossed the, the sea and the army of the Pharaoh destroyed, and this is a proof again that this is a true story. The Sabian they have that register in their history. This is why they consider that God of the Jews is the devil. He did magic. He did magic. He, did, he, he, he split the sea and he killed the Sabian. This is why they hate the Jews. This is why they claim that anyone uh, who do, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like circumcision, he is following Adonai and he is following the devil. So how Muhammad he put the Sabian with the Jews and the Christians in one basket and says, and the Muslims, all of them, they will go to heaven. Because at that point, Muhammad, as a hypocrite man, whoever come in his way, he said to him, you go to heaven, just believe in me. So in here, he want to fool everybody. Christians, Jews, Sabian, who, who, what, what is your religion? I'm a Hindu. Okay, Hindu, you go to heaven, just believe in the prophet, okay? You go to heaven too, okay. Yeah. What's your name? Zachary Nayak. Okay, Zachary. Okay. And what's your religion? Uh, Buddha. Okay, Buddha, you go to heaven. You just believe you. No. No, no, the Sabian is different religion, not, not the same as Hindu. No. Um, you know, there's uh, maybe we can talk about the Sabian. And Muhammad he copied a lot from them. Actually, Muhammad he was called Sabian many times. People they thought he's a Sabian person. And even the Muslims, when the, when when Muhammad was called Sabian, uh, um, he you know they did not say no, he is not. You know, he did not say the, 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 uh, they were going to get some water for uh, for Muhammad. Muhammad sent them to find water, and uh, they found a woman. She have water with her. They said to her, "Where you get this water from?" Uh, she said, um, "There." She said, "Can you come with us? Tell us, tell our our prophet." She said, "Who is your prophet? Is that the Sabian?" They said, "Yes." You see, they did not say no. They did not say no. Actually, let me let me find you the hadith. <clears throat> There's many hadith about the Sabian, but uh, Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find it. I don't know. I think this is the one. All right, do you see here? Let's make it bigger. The women, she said to them, they want to take her, they want to take her with them. She said, who is this man you want me to meet? Is that the Sabi? The Sabi, this is from Arabic, the Sabi. So she's saying, is that the Sabi, the one they called him the Sabi? You see it, and you know the translation here actually is not too much accurate, but it's okay. 
So here she said, uh, do you mean the man who is called the Sari with the new, the, you see the bit between two brackets, the new religion, it doesn't say that. It says Sabi. Sabi is a name for the Sabian. They replied, yes. Why the Muslim did not say no? He's a Muslim, not Sabi. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, the word Sabi mean a new religion. That's false. The Sabi is a new religion, yes, but it's a still a name of a religion. It's called the Sabi. Why? Because when the Sabi came to preach their religion in the Arabian Peninsula, it was a new religion. But still, they called them Sabi. <laughs> so it's a new religion, but it's not. It's a new religion for the Arab. But the Sabi, they are spread all over the Middle East. So the women, she didn't say they are a new religion. She said Sabi. So, because those people they became very popular, people are converting to their cult. So, when somebody converts, they say, Oh, he's Sabah, which means he became Sabi, because this is where people they convert usually. So, she said, Is he the Sabi? He said, Yes. We didn't say no. We didn't say no, he's a Muslim. And if Muhammad have the same religion of Adam and Abraham, why this is a new religion? If Muhammad and the, the tribe of Quraysh, both of them, they worship the same God, his name is Allah. So how this is a new religion? This is supposed not to be, because even Quraysh, they worship Allah. You see, what, what Muslims don't tell you, that Quraysh, they worship Allah. But they worship Allah beside other gods, that's all. So this is not a new religion. The Arab, they kiss the black stone. Muhammad kiss the black stone. They go and do round around the Kaaba. Muhammad go around the Kaaba. They go to the Safa and Marwa. Muhammad go to the Safa and Marwa. So what is left? The Arab, they praise, uh, praise Allah. Muhammad, they praise Allah. So what is what is a new religion in this, in this religion? Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I better bring something to... Uh, I don't know if I can still write anything. I spent the whole night with you. Unbelievable. I hate you all. I'm going to make a prayer for Allah uh, to lower your deed. Okay? So the men of you will not get 80,000 uh, females. You will get uh, uh, 79,000. Okay? Here we go. Punishment for you. And the women, Allah, it will not make you 70 times more pretty. It will make you 69. But let's change 69, it's not good. Uh, 68, 68 time, more pretty. All right? So anyway, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I hope the Muslims are so upset from me as usual because that's mean I did good. If not, please, 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 please be upset. Think, rethink, please rethink. The best way to leave Islam is to be upset. So don't be upset from being upset, my friend. It is the best way to be upset. Let me make a verse or chapter called to be upset. Al Kafirun, O oh, Kafirun, I believe not in what you believe, and I will not believe in what you believe, and you will not believe in what I believe, so I will not do believe in what you believe, and you will never believe in what I believe. So I do believe in what I believe, and I will believe, and you know the believe and they believe, and you have you believe, I have mine. I mean, that's amazing. That's so beautiful and so hot. I mean, look at like. I eat not what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat. So I will not do eat what you will not eat. I will never eat what you eat, and you have to not eat what you eat, and you will never eat what you eat because you would not do, do eat what I eat, and I will never ever 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 eat what you eat for. I have my food, you have yours. I mean, this is deep. This is convincing me that this is God, <laughs> and this is always in chapter of Al Kafirun. Very deep. Allah, He took a lot of time to make this chapter. This is a miracle. So thank you guys for me being here. And may the Lord bless you all, keep you in good health and wealth. And until we see you soon again, I say, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And I'm not going to play music. It is late or early morning for some of you. With this, I say good bless. And see you soon again. Bye-bye. Take care.